Good morning everybody. Hi, how are you today? Stuart Hillard here and uh, it's really wonderful to have your company on this glorious day. Um, I've got a fantastic morning ahead for you so I hope you're going to stick around until one o'clock. Let us start as always with our gorgeous early bird. Now actually today we've got not one but two early birds and the second one is not my cup of tea which is sitting there for me. How lovely. Thank you Michael. Uh, our early bird, our first early bird that we're going to do is something very close to my heart actually because it's very uh, safety orientated and that's me all over. It is the So Easy Ruler Grip Suction Handle. Now I've already got mine out, ready out of the packet. It's normally 4 99 the price is dropping to 3 99 um, And I love the fact that it's a very, very affordable price because really now, no excuses to have this in your sewing kit. And I'm gonna be blunt about this. You've got to keep your fingers safe and I know this from personal experience I had an accident years ago and I won't go into detail but I lost the side of my finger using a rotary cutter because it slipped off the edge of the ruler um, and and had a really nasty cut now a suction cup goes onto your ruler twists and then will grip if you twist it the right way <laughs> and it will grip okay so that's all you have to do and then untwist it and it will release <laughs> if you go the right way. Do you know, I practiced this so many times before we went on air and it was perfect every time. Okay, so there we go. So that's your suction cut. So onto your ruler, twist it to tighten and now it is gripping. So the good news is that now when we rotary cut, we haven't got our hand flat on the ruler we can hold this grippy handle and then cut and this is going to provide a lot more safety and security for our fingers and i think that's a really really good thing i think that's a really important thing you're saving a pound on your uh, so easy suction handle I would grab a couple, make it a little Christmas present for somebody that you can give them um, so that it, it will keep things nice and safe for them. Uh, and of course you can put it on all sorts of things, but in this context it really is about using it on your rulers, your templates and so on. All right, so that's our first early bird that we've got today. Our second early bird that we've got is um, Hobby Household and Craft Scissors, seven inch long. Um, and these are from Hemline. So a great pair of scissors, normally £7.99. Now these are going to be perfect for multi-use crafting. So fabric, card, paper. These might be those scissors that you keep in your sewing box to save your dressmaking scissors or your embroidery scissors. Because you know how tempting it is if you've only got your fabric scissors. Now let's just do the price. Come on do it look at are you kidding me 199 wow wow that is a saving do you know that reminds me of the time i went into a really nice fashion shop years ago and i saw a suede jacket okay that was 200 pounds and it was in the sale and it was 15 pound so I thought, yeah, 15. So I put it on, fitted perfectly, and I thought, I'm getting this to the till before, <laughs> before they change their mind. Got to the till, she went, oh, actually, I think that's supposed to be 15 pounds off. And I was like, yeah, I thought it probably was. She went, anyway, I've swiped it now. And she just did it, and that was that. And I've got this suede jacket, 15 pounds, and it should have been 15 pounds off. I think probably it should have been 199 off, but there we are, it's 199 for your household craft scissors. Uh, that is a ridiculous price, but um, well worth getting. This is a hemline. These are hemline scissors. These are good quality, general purpose crafting scissors. Paper, card, fabric, uh, trims, anything like that. Use it for cutting your zips, yeah? Things like that, good general purpose. Pair of scissors to have in your sewing box. Gosh, at $1.99, I'd be buying two, three, four pairs of these and having them in the kitchen, having them in the garage, in the shed, certainly having them in your sewing box. That is terrific. So one of those $1.99, one of those $3.99, 
It is definitely a, a bargain morning, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Keep going through for those, won't you? Oh, now if you're having any kind of issues ordering this morning, please just give the call centre an issue. Oh, we've got a little website issue. Everyone's okay, everything's fine. Good, but if you are, okay, fine, no problem. Just to let you know, Facebook is not live on my iPad. So I will just pop that there. Now, while we have a little look at that, let's have a look at the menu and see what's coming up this morning here on Sewing Street. There it is. <laughs> Eight o'clock, we've got fabulous fabric. We've got some great fabrics this morning to stock up your stash with. At nine o'clock, one of my favorite ladies, it's Cara Ackerman with quilts to make in a weekend. Now, I'm just going to grab the book that goes with this hour, because I want to just give you a very quick look. Um, we absolutely love Annie's quilting books here. They offer so much for incredible value. Check out the quilts. Check out the quilts there. This is $7.99 for this book. Now you just look at any one of those patterns. If we had those as a standalone design pattern, $9.99 for that, and would be wonderful value, you're getting all of these patterns, nine, and they are nine time-friendly designs. These are quilts to make in a weekend. Absolutely beautiful quilts here. Let me just show you one of my favorites, which I just think is absolutely gorgeous. The Megastar. Now, when I saw Megastar in the contents page, I thought it was going to be a, a pieced version of John Scott with a name like Megastar, but no. Surprisingly, it was this gorgeous double star. But I think that is beautiful. One of nine patterns for $7.99. I would jump on pre-order and grab that. We, we've got decent quantities, but we haven't got, you know, hundreds and hundreds. Um, I would grab that and get that in your shopping basket right now. It's a real bargain. Um, talking of bargains, have you got your scissors yet? $1.99, should be $7.99. We're doing them for $1.99 today for your craft and household scissors. Do grab them while you can. Um, okay, back to the menu. Uh, <laughs> at 10 o'clock, we've got an hour of embroidery and hand stitching. Lots of lovely equipment, some inspiring books, some beautiful kits as well. This is all about cosy crafting and sewing during the autumn and winter, when it is wet, when it is miserable, when you'd plan to pop out and then you just can't because the weather's rotten. So sit down in an armchair, enjoy a bit of slow stitching and just get cosy. Now then, 11 o'clock, car is back with the Harvest Fabric Collection with some great projects. She's going to be doing some fab demos in that hour, so uh, stick around for that. And then at 12 o'clock, thinking again about autumn winter crafting, lighting is everything. It is everything. Or if you're finding that your accuracy is not up to what it once was, that you're struggling to see the Ada when you're cross-stitching or, you know, where you're supposed to be sewing when you're working at your machine, good task lighting is makes such a difference. I've discovered that in the last couple of years, adding some craft lighting and, and task lighting to my studio has made a world of difference. So that's at 12 o'clock. And we've also got some essential tools too. So that's how this morning is shaping up. Um, I still don't have Facebook Live on, but um, all right, let's move on. Grab my tea. Well, I'll, gra I'll grab the iPad. I'll grab the iPad and I'll see. It, it is working. It is working. Because I want to be able to read your messages. Oh, this is looking better. This is looking better. Messages on my bottom, let's do that. Morning Stuart, lovely to see you. Finally, COVID free, hooray. <laughs> Wonderful, Louise, that's great news. I'm really pleased to hear it. Hope you're feeling much, much better now. Morning Stuart, looking forward to watching today whilst I'm crafting at home. Beth, there's nothing better, is there? Have a wonderful day with us, Beth. Show us what you're crafting too. Uh, good morning Stuart and crew. If you say good morning to them, you'll only encourage them. They'll be pushing me out of the way and getting on air next. Uh, thank you for a bright start on a dull, wet morning here in France. Yvette, oh, 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 le belle vie. 
beautiful. Well, stick with us. And morning, Stuart. Uh, have a great day. Got my scissors. Wonderful value. That's Liz in Staffordshire. They are wonderful. They're, they're um, hemline scissors. They are brilliant. Craft. And you can use them for paper, card, felt, pleather, anything like that. Really useful. Cutting zips. Grab them. Okay, a couple of you struggling to order online. If you ever struggle to order online, just give our call centre a quick call. Have we got the number for, for everyone? I'll share the number with you. Our call centre is here. Uh, they are UK based with us. Uh, 0800 001 4433. Um, give them a call. They are just wonderful people and they do everything they can to help out. Uh, Lulu's got in touch as well to say, Morning, Stuart. Lovely to see you this morning watching you while on holiday in Hun Stanton. While we're on the subject of holidays, I want to say a bright good morning to Julie and Mark, who I met. I was out on, on Tuesday with Deputy Joan. We went to Scarborough for the day to celebrate Joan's birthday. And we were sh fabric shopping, obviously. Uh, toasted tea cakes first to, to get some energy and then fabric shopping, obviously. Um, and we got chatting to a lovely couple who were there on holiday from Aspie de la Zouche. So good morning to you both. It was wonderful to meet you and have a lovely chat. All right, let's get on with our fabulous fabric. Now, oh, yes, before we do that, I mentioned Deputy Joan's birthday. It is Deputy Joan's birthday today. Oh yeah, woohoo! Happy birthday, Joan! Yay, there we go. Look, she's got a glass in her hand, it's empty. <laughs> we were celebrating. It was sparkling water. <laughs> we're such a pair of rock stars. But that was us on, on Tuesday in, uh, in Scarborough. We had such a lovely day. Happy birthday, my darling. All right, okay, now then. Fabulous fabric. Let's start with some lovely Lewis and Irene. And this is a collection called Honeybee. Um, let me show you this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Now, there are some, some real standouts for me, and I'm just gonna start, and it's not necessarily the one you might think, but I wanna start with WS81, because I just think this is such an elegant design I think that is really beautiful and I think you need to just come a little closer and just see the beautiful detail, the shading. It's clover, isn't it? What a, what, I mean, I love that when a designer takes something really quite humble, humble clover, and turns it into something really, really stunning and different. Beautiful. Love that. Love that. I think that would be so smart in patchwork. Beautiful for bags. I can imagine all kinds of possibilities with English paper piecing, fussy cutting. And, and we always mention fussy cutting and English paper piecing as if the two have to go together. You can machine piece fussy cut fabric. Of course you can. It could be half square triangles. It could be pinwheel. Fussy cut pinwheel would look amazing. Or... Um, even four squares fussy cut from the same area of fabric and then one, turn two, turn three, turn four. So they go around, that looks terrific too. This is a great fabric for that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. 6.99 as well for a half meter. Lewis and Irene always offer cracking value. It's beautiful quality fabric but it's also a really, really keen price. Now we also do that, that same fabric, this is RC08, in this lovely, subtle, soft palette, which is also really lovely. Now last week we had some lovely William Morris fabrics in these sort of putty, grey, silver colours. This would work really well with those. It's that same look. Really stunning, isn't it? And also would make such a smart lining for a bag, wouldn't it? Lovely envelope, um, a zip pocket rather. Lovely hidden zip pocket inside a bag. That, beautiful, beautiful. Really like that. Um, Lucy Pixley had some lovely bags on Friday. I think that would look really nice to line those with. Now, um, let's inject a little bit of colour into this scene. This is NS01. So this one, 
everybody needs a bit of this fabric check this out <gasps> that is lovely now just look at all of the detail in there absolutely beautiful i just want you to sort of see if you just stand back a little bit you just see a little bit more of that fabric i need new glasses <laughs> oh no i can't there we go better on the left or the right with or without i love doing that love doing that isn't that gorgeous just love that now again there are so many opportunities there for fussy cutting or for centering designs so for example one really easy way to create a bit more visual interest in something like an, just a regular star block is in that center square it might be four and a half inches six and a half inches it's just to center a really lovely design in the middle of that block and suddenly that block center is no longer just a square of fabric it's a focal point for that star or that unit or maybe the whole quilt some really beautiful you don't have this one it's ns01 nsul01 is it okay okay could be the picture is wrong oh dear we're struggling <laughs> we need this fabric it's lovely oh yeah no I've got a different one that is QD UL50 the picture must be wrong okay okay so the picture on the website is wrong this one is details on screen now now then can we just go back and have another little look because we've got gorgeous honeysuckle and lavender and roses clover those lovely plants that attract bees in our garden if we have them I've got a lovely honeysuckle it's covered in right bright red berries at the moment that's also a lovely look but just love it love the little gold crown and this is gold metallic as well just lovely mm. Mm, that is what you're getting if you order the number on screen 6.99 per half meter and it is cut for you apologies for that little but it was a blip it was a blip it was a bump in the road it was a bump in the road now if you fancy something that's a little lighter brighter same design look at the colors in this this is qy53 so same design lovely that is gorgeous absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful love it now um, a couple of really good basic fabrics from the range that that actually i think will go really well for anything these two b prints so this is qd50 and hr89 if we do the dark first so this is a charcoal and gray checkerboard background and then you have got gold metallic overprinting of bees that's just a great stash fabric whenever i see a fabric with bees on i grab it imagine using that as the dark background for brights or really light fabrics to make them pop but you want interest in the background donna's got in touch good morning everyone big smiley face too Mwah. Good morning to you. Um, and Frida's got in touch too to say, hi, Stuart, lovely to see you. Frida, it's lovely to be here too. Absolutely wonderful. So that's on a dark background. Let me show it you now, same fabric, but on a light background. This is HR89. So this has got sort of slightly pinky, heathery tones in the background in that checkerboard. And then it's got that gold overprinting, pretty really like that okay moving on two more now the next ones are a little bit celestial so i mentioned that because stars celestials those kind of fabrics are a really really popular genre this is tv82 and also just really really good to have in your stash for when you need to make that sort of star inspired planetary I mean, imagine using this as a background and then appliqueing the planets or the rings of Saturn, something like that. Mm. 
gorgeous. Again, charcoal background and then this beautiful gold metallic overprinting. That would also work really well for Christmas, wouldn't it? Really well for Christmas. If your theme, if your, um, your Christmas decorations, your table settings are silver and gold, that would work. We've got this lovely posh dinner service, which is white, and then the band around the edge is platinum and gold. So you've got the combination of the two. This would work really well with that. Just stick that in the back of my car, would you? Now, if you want something again, a little lighter, a little brighter, go JT46. So this is the same celestial design or sunburst, maybe, in gold. Glamorous. It is a really glamorous fabric. This is for scale. So you can just sort of see the size. Again, cracking good value for $6.99. I know how fabrics are priced wholesale. Anything with gold overprinting on it is always a good 60, 70 pence per metre more than without gold highlights. With Lewis and Irene, it never is. And that 60 to 70 pence when it translates, when it gets to the customer, usually it can be, you know, a couple of pounds dearer for gold metallic overprinting. With Lewis and Irene, it is always the same price. Absolutely wonderful. Now, let's do something a little different. Same range. This is a panel. Ah, oh, Gemma's got in touch. Good morning, Stuart. Gemma, good morning to you. How are you, my love? This is an apron panel. This is really lovely. Really lovely. So let's look at the apron first of all. So you've got full instructions on here. You don't need to buy separate instructions. Here's your apron. You've got this lovely little bee motif and flowers at the top, honeysuckle. You have got two pockets either side and they in themselves are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, all for $13.99. Then moving down, here's the body of your apron. A nice sort of, it's not plain. It's got this lovely um, sort of vine print on it. And then moving further down, you have got your waist uh, straps and also your necktie or your neck loop. That's brill. And full instructions for making it up as well. That is really lovely. And then you'll just place those two pockets on the front. Wooden spoons, recipe book. I was doing a bit of cooking the other day. I had my lovely Monday at home. Lots of you saw the pictures on my social media. Making cake, planting baskets up. I did lots of sewing. Oh, you know those days when you just need to reconnect and just be at home and be calm and lovely. It was just a glorious, glorious day. Love that apron, really smashing, really nice. You could also line that if you want a sort of thicker, maybe slightly more protective apron as well, you can just line that. So all you would do a bit like a, uh, making a bag with shoulder straps, you know, put the neck strap on, hanging down, the two side ties in, and then lay fabric on the top, pin it well, and then just sew around the outside edge, leave a gap for turning and just bag the whole thing out and then top stitch around the outside edge. And that will create a lined apron easily done and I for that I would just what's the size of this panel please is it 0 0.9 meter yeah so just buy one meter of a solid color and I would recommend something like either a cream you could do a lilac would be really nice charcoal gray that would work a golden yellow any of those colors or something like seeded natural and then line your apron as well what a lovely gift what a lovely gift. All right, super range, I really like that. Very nice. Now, shall we go to the country? Let's go to the country. To the country, when your heart is in the country. Should really just have a quick... You know me and T. Christine's got in touch. Good morning, Stuart and crew. Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, good morning, Stuart and crew. Makes my day to see you bring a smile. Oh, bless you. That's really kind. Thank you. 
I always feel it's only my mum that feels that way about me, but thank you. And good morning, mummy. <laughs> How are you, my love? All right, to the country then. Um, let's start with a lovely all-over print. This is CD40. It's got the Highland Coo. It's got the little duck pond. You wouldn't believe my ducklings now. They are ducks. And they are only a matter of weeks old and they've gone from duckling to duck. That's incredible. But there we go. Look, we've got the gorgeous sheep. Uh, we've got the Highland Coo. We've got the cockerel, the ducks. Uh, there's a gorgeous saddleback pig. Name that pig. A saddleback. Uh, Highland cows. Absolutely beautiful. They look like little teddy bears, don't they? Really beautiful. Andy Ling has got in touch. Morning all. Looking forward to the show today. Watching while baking. Oh, now I'm starting to feel hungry. Coconut tartlets. Yes, please. And broccoli cheese and broccoli flan. Double yes. Double yes. That sounds delicious. Hillary has got in touch. Morning, Stuart. You're looking extremely trim and gorgeous. Thank you. It's, it's black, isn't it? Slimming black, and I um, never normally wear a cardigan, but look, I'm already covered in thread. <gasps> oh, but bless you, thank you for that. Really fun, this. Again, Lewis and Irene, I love that sort of chalky, grey-blue background as well. It's soft and subtle, isn't it? Be really nice to use this in a nursery or a children's room. Very, very nice. Or oh, just wherever you want to, really. But I'm just thinking instantly that would look gorgeous. And actually, if you just wanted to sort of maybe mature up a baby's room, do you know what I mean? And make the transition from that very sort of teddy bear and fluffy kind of little newborn baby to a little bit older, three, four year old. Putting some accessories in with this just brings a little bit more maturity to that look, doesn't it? Not that I've ever been bothered by maturity. Good Lord. Good Lord. All right. That's that one. Same design, but with a lighter, softer grey background. Almost a sort of greyish background. This is TV67. Really nice to make a book pillow out of this. If you need a pattern, go on my YouTube channel, Stuart Hillard Makes. A free tutorial to make a book pillow. This would do the front of two. For six ninety nine, put your own fabric on the back. You want something for a pocket as well. I've got things for a pocket. Don't you worry. Or you could use that for the pocket and put something behind. But that is great, isn't it? Really nice fabric. Very nice as well if you like making things for schools. You know, maybe for the reception or nursery classes, you can make some floor cushions out of that. That would be fun. Now, talking of what would be good to use as a backing fabric or an alternate fabric, I just love these chickens. FR84. Got two different options. That warm bluey grey, that slaty colour, and then the silvery grey. We'll start with the slate. Yeah, you could make an apron. Oh, an apron would be lovely. Ben, our producer, is on fire today. He just said an apron in that. That is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, that is great. Or, um, you know, you could make things like a basket or a bowl for your kitchen to put your eggs in, for example. That would be fun. Or, you know, those like soup bowl uh it's not a warmer as such, is it? So it's like a cosy. Thank you, Ben. It's a cosy. You could use them to make that. Or, you know, uh, teapot, tea cosies, little uh, tray mats. I, I do that all the time, actually. I've got some like melamine trays, but things slip and slide on them if you just put them straight on. So I just do like a little mini quilt. It's a bit like making a placemat, you know, a block bit of border, something like that to make it rectangular, quilt it, bind it. It's a bit of fun. And um, yeah, that would look lovely. Or do a matching set. So do a tray uh, mat and then do maybe a napkin. And you could do something like a little mug mat as well. And then you've got like a little breakfast set maybe for if you're having breakfast in bed or you want to take breakfast to the armchair and just sort of have it cosy there, just make it a bit nicer. 
It's these little things, isn't it, that just make life a little bit more lovely. Yeah, that's what we want. It is what we want. Okay, what about that one in silver? This is UT71. Now, a couple of more messages while I open this out. Lynn's got in touch to say morning, Stuart. Gosh, that weight is dropping off, looking fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, this is lovely, again, on the silver. Now, you could use a little bit of red. Let me just show you. So just a little pop of red. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold this up just so that you've got that little lip. So what I'm thinking is, look, yeah? So something like a napkin with that sandwiched into the seam would be so smart. This could be the apron. This could be a trim around the bottom or the top or the trim around the pocket. Doesn't that look lovely? Can we just check what red this is, please? I think it's, is it cranberry? It's LW67. Or cardinal, I think it might be cardinal. Elizabeth's got in touch, Morning Stuart, speaking of your book pillows, I made one for each of my three grandchildren. It was so easy and they loved them. Ah, oh, Elizabeth, thank you. Crimson. Crimson red, yeah, beautiful. That goes so well with that. All right, that's the chicken fabric. There ain't nobody here but us chickens. That'll be in your head all day. There ain't nobody here but us chickens. <laughs> I love the fact that Ben, our producer, joined in. He doesn't have a clue what's going on, uh, well, certainly with what I'm doing, but still joining in. My goodness me, it's the best way, Ben. You are. <laughs> UL59, he still just keeps going, chickens in my ear. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Those are lovely. Oh, what about PJ Bottoms? And then if you can't sleep and you need to count, and you need, and you need to count sheep, they're there on your legs. Those are cute. Those are cute. What are you talking about, two ears and a horn? This one here. Okay, so let me just turn that around. Oh, I've lost him now, sorry. There he is. Right, horn, 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 horn. Those are four horns, love. <laughs> Jacobs. Jacobs have four horns like that. Two that stick up, two that stick down. But they're black, so kind of taking liberties with the colouring. I don't know if there are other sheep that have four horns like that, but Jacobs do. To the Google, to the Google machine. <laughs> Lovely. Now, um, same fabric on that silvery background. Again, I just think PJ Bottoms would be so lovely. And then just buy a little T-shirt to go with, maybe pick out the soft grey or the charcoal. Children, adults, you know, it's all good. This is, this does not have a code. This one does not have a code. There we go. Thanks for getting in touch everyone this morning. It's really lovely to hear from you. We've got the details. Tossed sheep. Tossed sheep. <laughs> to be honest with you, they do jump about like that themselves. It's one of the nicest things about having lambs. Even when they're older, they're still absolutely full of joy and full of life. And they just, they're on springs. They are absolutely on springs. Charlie and I spent Sunday um, vaccinating, worming, doing feet, health checks, and it with on all of the sheep. It was lovely. Ah, you found a double horned white sheep. What is that now? Is that a rom? No, it's not a Romney. <laughs> it's just called Sheep with Four Horns. But thank you. It's non-specific, but, but we love you for it. Thank you. Uh, two more fabrics. Oh, these are lovely with pheasants on. This is WG67. 
WG67. This is pheasants on silver. Straight away, I want to use that as a lining for a tweed messenger bag either a small over the shoulder or a wider kind of attache style but I want tweed on the outside or pleather on the outside that on the lining don't you think don't you think I think that's gorgeous really super and again lots of opportunities for using those individual motifs too it's lovely and then on a slate background NP78 and I love this slaty background as well I think it's really it's calming it's soft it's soothing isn't it a nice movement in this fabric too and do you see as well how if I just move this up slightly okay wouldn't it be lovely to do square on point do a square on point or a square in a square now you could cut on the bias to do that but the easiest way if you don't want to cut on the bias to do a really accurate square in a square is to do flippy corners so for example if you were going to cut this out and it was say a, a six and a half inch square okay you would then want three and a half inch squares of say like a light fabric to do your flippy corners and then just do two opposite sides and press them back two opposite sides and press them back and you'll have a perfect on point but without having to cut any bias edges nice easy way of doing it all right smashing so that is that a oh, one more fabric from that collection it's this one right here now this doesn't have a code and it doesn't have a bag this is really nice and a slightly larger scale this so if you were making book pillows for example you could use this for the background it's got a lovely sort of home deck look to it as well hasn't it nice for dressmaking beautiful lovely palette as well it's that soft soft um, slate blue and then a warm grey background you know that warm sort of beigey toned or lilac-y toned grey that's what this is 6.99 per half meter for all of those yum okay now then I want to just jump away from that for a second because we've got a couple of charm packs and I'm going to make a request please 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 <laughs> leave one of these for me okay i really like this i think it's gorgeous it's it's a bonheur du jour it's the best i can manage bonheur du jour by french general i love french general fabrics this is going to work perfectly for some christmas makes i'm working on. it's not a christmas range at all but let me just let me show you the these fabrics are oh, delicious I'm just gonna slide that down slightly there there we go but these are glorious aren't they madder reds creams absolutely gorgeous look at that absolutely lovely that putty is delicious I love that little bit of pattern there. That is smashing. These putty shades are really working for me. That is glorious. I want a shirt made out of that. Five inch square wouldn't be enough. Isn't that beautiful? Smashing. Just going to keep on flicking through these. Lovely rich colours, kind of rusty reds. They're those kind of antique looking fabrics. If you loved Windy Days from Tilda, it's that same kind of Indian woodblock kind of look. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. You could make a lovely table runner. You could do that tray, the tray set I was talking about, but piece it all, square patchwork. Oh, that is lush. 42 five inch squares for 14.99. 
You could do coasters. You could do coasters, definitely. I've got a really, really nice, easy. Can I open this and show you a really quick, easy idea for coasters? Let me just show you. Right, okay. This is what you do. This is what you do. Right. So you need kind of five squares for the top. All right. But you kind of don't want to use something really lovely for the fifth square. But I'm going to use something lovely for the fifth square. Okay, so what you're going to do is, so there's my, there's my five. Isn't that a happy little grouping? Wow, oh, love it. Right, so all you're going to do is fold your squares in half and you would want to press them. Okay, and they're pretty side on the outside. Okay, so I've got my four square. Then you're going to grab your base. So this is the under the top. And then what you're going to do is lay the square on top, the square on top, and the fold's always going into the middle, the square on top, and the square on top, and obviously that one needs to tuck under there. So we've created this little sort of folded, what's, yeah, kind of thing, yeah, beautiful, right. So then what you're going to do, you it's lovely to have a bit of bat quilt batting as well. You could put that underneath, but you don't have to. And then your, hang on, let me just turn this around before I make a mistake. Uh, let me get this right. Just a minute, just a minute. Right, so then what you want to do is you're going to, oh, now let me just think. What do you do now? Because we want that on the outside. Anyway, I can tell you a different way. So what you're going to do, you've got your top, you're going to put that on top, you're going to sew around, leave a little gap for turning. So that then when you turn this through to the right side, you end up with a little coaster like this with a lovely backing as well. And what you can do, because you've actually got a gap there, that you can get into, you can actually open this up. You can put a wine glass base into there and then it kind of closes back up around so that when you pick up your wine glass, your coaster goes with it. So if you're having Christmas drinks and you've got people that aren't gonna use coasters, stick these on the bottom of the wine glass. They can't fail to put their wine glass down on a coaster. Did you like that idea? There we go. Oh, I love that. Now I've opened and folded this, so we really can't send that to somebody, can we? So I better just have to keep that. <laughs> and I've licked some of them. I've licked some of them as well. So I mean, really, you don't want to send that out to anybody. Good, no, awful, that's been used. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm good. Right, another charm pack. This is lovely, gorgeous, full of colour. Garden Society, MV81. Crystal Manning. Again, I'm just going to slip that down there and then show you these gorgeous five-inch squares. So again, you get 42. Beautiful. This colour palette is so zingy. Vibrant oranges and greens, bit of brocade. Oh, that's a lovely fabric. So again, it's all about kind of taking you into the garden. So if winter, autumn and winter are bleak times for you, and I know a lot of people really don't like the autumn and winter and don't find it cozy. And really, like my mum is, all she can think about is spring and getting ready. So she's in the garden, battling through the elements, making the garden lovely with spring in mind, spring flowers, that kind of thing, and, and, and loves that colour and that, that joy. This is perfect for her because it's all about reminding yourself that freshness, spring is coming, flowers, absolutely lovely. This is cute. This is so cute. A little stripe with crickets on. This is giving me a flavour look of my, of my shirt, I'm just gonna bring it on, which is a really fine stripe with safety pins. It's that kind of, isn't it? <laughs> love it, love it. 
really nice and again charm packs always good if you bought delphine brooks um cathedral window instructions or you've got my book use scrap sew blocks make 100 quilts there is a, a design in there for doing machine stitch cathedral window using five inch charm squares Now you could, if you wanted to just get a quick and easy bit of patchwork done, you don't have to cut these up, just use them as five inch squares, stitch them together, you've got kind of instant patchwork. How glorious is that? I just use them all. What about, you know, like Sewing Bee this year, one of the most popular things they did was that gorgeous patchwork quilted jacket. They used, I think, four and a half inch squares. You could substitute five inch squares. It's easy. It's not a problem. That is lovely. Maria's got in touch. Nice one, Stuart. Yeah, make me laugh. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Jan's got in touch. Good morning, Stuart and all. Oh, oh, did you hear that? I think they're a bit shy this morning. Love the charm packs. What is not to love, eh? Now, next up, don't normally do these, but we've got a mini charm. Now, a mini charm, it's tiny, it's tiny, it's barely there. It isn't barely there, it's gorgeous. These are two and a half inch squares. Come in closer, come on. Ah, oh, the 5.99, these are so cute. These make gorgeous secret Santas or, or stocking presents. Same. See, my hands are just way too big to do this job. If we need a tiny version of me. Where are you going to find that? Look. Look. Isn't that... Yeah? Absolutely gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Let me just open this up. It's worth thinking, you know, like, for example, if you wanted to make a really cute like table runner you could use this I would probably separate them out a little bit I would separate them out a little bit and I would put a little bit of sashing or the other thing that you could do is you could use fusible batting and you would want to draw yourself a little bit of a grid onto it and then fuse these down onto that grid with gaps and you want the gap to be less than a quarter of an inch and then grab yourself some about three eighths of an inch bias binding or folded tape maybe that you made and I would pick something like I don't know maybe the blue maybe that lovely soft blue and then you could just lay those strips over the top yeah so i'd perhaps do like the short runs first lay it on i mean really useful if you've got a glue stick just to run it down and then put your bias tape down and stick it down and then when everything's fused in place just um machine stitch and i would use a twin needle and then when you stitch over that bias tape you'll be sewing both edges at the same time I'm just going to bring a little bit down here as well you see how easy this is you could be making this in next to no time and I'm literally just using these straight out the packet so I'm kind of almost color grouping as I'm doing this I hope someone's up for putting these away <laughs> But I'm just going to keep on doing this because I think this is really, it's cute, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? And if you don't play with your fabrics, come on. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. I'm going to move that around. Is it, look at all that space. Look, hands for scale. There's a lot there. And there's two left over. I'm going to put these on the back for the label. But that would make a pretty decent table runner and like I say I would just use bias tape in between all those gaps and stitch it down with a twin needle that's a lovely afternoon's work and actually if you layered if you have those on your batting with your backing on as well as you lay down your strips and stitch them you are quilting it as well all you've got to do is trim the outer edge bind it and you are done equally you could split this 
and you could do and I'm going to take those away and you could do a couple of cushions as well couldn't you now you might want to put maybe like a little border around those or something like that you could put a bit of a pieced border you could have cornerstones couldn't you around the outside edge of that cushion I'm just thinking at the moment of this 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 area here yeah but it's good isn't it and then just a little strip of fabric here 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 and here yummy that would also look really nice with like cream or white uh, bias tape in between and all of that for 5 .99. it's real oh it's a lovely little treat isn't it it's a lovely little treat and then you can just have a lovely afternoon making something half a metre well actually I'd go a metre of a solid just then you've got enough to do your backing your bias and your binding for that out of one metre seeded natural ivory ecru would be lovely you could go with copen blue that would look glorious you could maybe use something like a peach or an apricot that would be pretty a soft leaf green that would look yummy too sorry everybody sorry sorry good luck michael good luck look look just make it look like it did before please thank you honestly what am I like now then um this is a nice little grouping this is I don't know what the bundles the the the, the code for the bundle so in monochrome that's the one is it 14 pound 47 you've got three half meters now there's a bag in that or a sewing machine cover isn't there let me show you the fabrics so first of all let's start with this one this is our dressmakers mannequins you're getting half a meter that's just a really cool fabric isn't it now you could well actually you could make john scott a shirt out of that couldn't you beautiful this is a bundle by the way if you multi-buy you'll get them already cut into half meters not continuous lengths but this is three half meters in a bundle 1447 so there's your focus fabric so for a bag gorgeous let me show you the second fabric now this definitely looks like my shirt that is lovely if you come in a bit closer you'll see these lovely little safety pins but also look at the polka dot background isn't that sweet and then just as a lovely complimentary you've got this deep is that school gray or elephant gray It's like school trouser grey, isn't it? Dark grey, dark grey. So there are your three fabrics. Now then, let's talk about a bag. What about if this is your main feature fabric? I would want to use the grey probably for a lining, but I would also want, okay, I would want a little bit of some kind of border or a little folded insert or something just right there in the bag so there's our our bag top our little bit of trim our bag base a simple tote boxed corners or not shoulder straps probably using the safety pin or the gray fabric and then use a mixture of what you've got left to create some pockets inside the bag or a sewing machine cover so main body of your sewing machine cover create some pockets that run around the front and the back some ties that go either side just a simple rectangle quilted rectangle okay that if i just show you that would go kind of up and over and down the other side so just a big rectangle just measure with a set with a um, tape measure up over and down and then really you want to use that measurement you don't really need to add start adding half excuse me half an inch or an inch for because what you don't want is that cover to be like on the table you want it just to cover and then just to either side you want four ties probably about three inches in from the edge um one two 
and then on the other side, three, four, that you can then just tie either side. And it will just like a dust cover. But then when you are sewing, you'll undo that, lay it on the table with one of the ends with the pockets hanging off the edge, stand your sewing machine on the cover and then you've got pockets for your scissors, your snips and things like that while you're working. Very, very easy to make and um, just give your sewing room a little bit of a different look. Love the fact that it's monochrome too. Embrace that or dig into your button stash, your trim stash. What about putting some rick racks, some buttons, some embellishments on that just to jazz the whole thing up. Now then, next up, we've got a beautiful little uh, grouping here. You saw the, uh, that lovely deep red earlier on. Again, under 15 pounds. This is a gorgeous, based on the Ohio or variable star, I think variable star actually, different shades of blue in there and creams. And then, is that Copen blue? I think that is Copen, isn't it? Copen blue. Oh, Cadet blue. This is the one I thought might look rather nice with, with that. Just bringing out those blues, you see? It's that kind of... Anyway, but that little bundle, three half metres for under £15. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, so that's that bundle. Now another bundle. This is a gorgeous colourful mix. Multicolour, you've got that gorgeous, bright sort of turquoisey blue, a bubblegum pink, and a white. Lovely nursery colours. Do you know, when we say our multi skilled operators are multi skilled, we're not kidding. We are not kidding. Michael, there's a job in the motor factory just waiting for you, if you would like it. Oh, sorry, I'm rubbish at throwing. <laughs> I always have been. Don't ever play rounders with me. You don't want me on your team. <laughs> Gorgeous, love that. That's a little baby quilt. Lovely, under 15 pounds. Now, what about this? Let's make a bag. Let's make a bag. Two fabrics. These are a cotton canvas. These are a cotton canvas. Main feature fabric for under £12 this time. Painted flowers. This is beautiful. Just right for autumn. I'm saying bag. You could easily make cushions out of this. How pretty is that? An autumnal. And then you've got this matching cotton canvas in a sort of puce lilac. So line your bag, shoulder straps, that is great. Also as well, I'm getting the sense that this fabric is extra wide. I'm just going to grab my tape measure and tell you. So 27, so this is 54, 54 inches wide. And I think this cotton canvas is the same. Yeah, 54 inches wide, both of those. So that's incredible value for under £11.50. Really good. And yeah, that would be perfect for bags, cushions. If you're using it for cushions, you could back, you know, front and back, or you could do maybe like, you know, embrace the envelope on your cushion, have it on the front, okay, like this. Here's your cushion, so it's narrower, maybe a third and two thirds, and then I would work three buttonholes, and I would have quite big covered buttons using this fabric down there, maybe a bit of piping around the edge. Beautiful, beautiful, easy, stylish, very affordable. One more bundle, one more bundle. Oh, a bit of sunshine. Um, there's a bookworm collection as well, thinking of book pillows, mentioned earlier. Um, two fabrics here, break of day moda, and a beautiful blue to go with. Just a lovely sunny project. 
pretty 11.28 I leave that with you right wow that was a good hour thank you for your uh, messages during that hour and lovely bright good morning to each and every one of you we're going to go for a short break when we come back Kara Ackerman is here with the first of two shows this is all about autumn quilting you've seen some lovely projects behind me don't go anywhere Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello there, hello there, hello, hello. there, Hello, I know, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you, it's lovely good. to have you back, it's how nice. are you? Yes, good to see you. Good, it's good great to see, to see you. you as well. 
and some gorgeous projects from I you know. today. And <gasps> also amazing fabrics. You know. I just want to stroke them. Yeah, really beautiful, really <laughs> beautiful. And you've done some lovely things. Thank but you. this book. I know. Quilts Incredible. to make in a weekend. These are nine time friendly designs from Annie's Quilting. Now I teased this book sorry everybody but I did because I just love Annie's quilting books they offer amazing value don't they oh incredible value and you've got nine quilt designs here and of course you know what I always say nine designs become 27 designs if you start thinking about that block as a cushion that but scaled up I mean you know just brilliant it's those techniques as well so in the book you've got nine designs for the incredible price of £7.99. It's cheaper than buying a magazine, frankly. Um, and you've got hens and chicks. What a gorgeous, striking modern quilt there. But would also work in scraps. You have got full instructions for everything. The Megastar, it's not John Scott. It is this <laughs> Megastar right now. You're gonna demo this, aren't you? Yes in the blues absolutely beautiful um, again I'm st straight away thinking this is 30 inches square if I make four of these and sew them together 60 inch nine of them 90 inch I've got a queen size quilt so I've got three patterns out of one you know without even thinking about it you could also halve everything and have a 15 inch block which would be gorgeous for a pillow um, all sorts of lovely ideas there fancy cut a collection of colourful strips and a white solid are all you need and they are two and a half inch strips who doesn't need another jelly roll pattern oh, frankly who doesn't need another jelly roll well that is true as well <laughs> i bought one on tuesday oh. and it was literally i was walking to the till and, and i just grabbed it i did yeah. I literally just grabbed it and was like <laughs> and that anyway i'm the same as everybody else aren't i Beautiful, delightful view. Brighten up your table or wall with this quick and easy project. Now, just check this out. <laughs> Car has made this as well. You really have been busy. That is, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful in stunning red, white, and blue. We have these fabrics on the show today. I'll show you them in just a second. How big is that, Cara? Oh, good question. It will tell us here, 28 and a half by 28 and a half. So 28 and a half inch square, perfect. I mean, four of those together, beautiful wall hanging or a throw quilt. That is just glorious. Love it. That patchwork bug is bit. Um, just a touch. Are you loving but I it? I thought, when I got this, um, the book, uh -huh. I thought, oh, fantastic, fantastic. And then I found out I was on with you. I thought, oh. 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 <laughs> no, I just thought, oh, gosh, mm. I hope my, my corners are good. And oh, I hope my points are good. I am not the quilt police, honestly. <laughs> no, but you're the quilt king. Oh, bless you. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely love it. Um, it's just one of nine patterns for 7 99 it's just brilliant. If your friends aren't watching, give them a quick nudge or just buy the book for them. A They'll love you for it. What a gorgeous gift. It is, isn't yeah. it? For like under £10, yeah. you know. And I mean, you know, usually secret Santas are, you know, £10 no more, you know. And it's really hard actually to find a decent gift, isn't it, for under £10? It is. And also, what's wonderful is if, um, you know, you're not with the person that you're giving it to, that's not a lot to post. No, it isn't. Which is really good. And um, think of all the creativity. It is massive, massive creativity. Uh, Pat, who's from Kerry Diggins, says, Borada both. The lovely Cara oh, has arrived. Thank you, Pat. I've told her the cat. Uh, as you are his favourite. I've told the cat as you are his favourite too. Oh, after all, cat of the months. That's exactly, what that that's was. what it is. Yes, You're our you. resident cat lady. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, just brilliant value in the book. Brilliant Definitely. value. You know, this, seven ninety nine plus one of our early birds this morning. The, did you see the household scissors, yes. craft scissors? Yes. £1.99 oh, no, for home line scissors. Still under £10. We still haven't spent our £10 uh, birthday gift. Amazing. Amazing. Seven ninety nine. The suction handle, by the way, has sold out. The ruler suction handle. Well done for putting safety first. Brilliant over half of the stock of the scissors has also gone i would grab a couple of pairs amazing mm. amazing um okay let's keep going this is gorgeous 
star shine. Now you're going to show us a little bit of this as well, yes, aren't you? Yes, I've done part of that panel. Oh. I, it was really, really hard with the fabrics and with the book mm -hmm. to choose which one to actually, you know, create. I bet. Um, and then, you know, I, I cut out. The, the most important thing was the cutting out. And I think I need to invest in a few more rulers and things okay. like that. Okay. Yes. Well, stick around for our tool hour at mm. 12 o'clock because we've got some great rulers there. But just lovely, isn't it? This finished quilt here, 49 inches square. So four of those sewn together is 98 inch square quilt if you wanted a really big king sized oh, quilt. And some of the pieces you'll see when I show you the sample that I did are big yeah you know so and quick that's to why make. they are quick yeah that's fabulous it's isn't incredible. it incredible really love that uh, bel canto clever placement of lights and darks creates stunning transparency effect really lovely striking but these are quilts you can make in a weekend starry picnic and I like as well that each one of them, you know, is being sort of quilted you can see how it's been quilted give you some ideas I like that I like that. Oh, Warm Winter Friends. Isn't that beautiful? That is lovely. So maybe this is you make a Christmas quilt, mm. but something you can make in a weekend means, you know, it's not, I don't know. It's not you wanna, daunting. Not daunting. No, not daunting at all. And then you've even got look at the end, like how to do things like mitered corner borders as well, quilting basics. It's all there for $7.99, proving very, very popular, approaching half the stock of that gone. So well done, really fantastic. Keep going through to quilts to make in a weekend. Now, Cara, we've also got beautiful fabric. Oh gosh, yes. These are the ones that you used for the, the samples sample behind. And everything. Yes, absolutely and lovely. The, um, the panels that I'm going to share. So this quilt range is called Bell Isle, and we've got a mega bundle. I'm just going to show you this. And then we've got three smaller bundles as well. But it's a gorgeous, patriotic red, white, and blue flowers and little uh, diamond crosshatch, ditzes, paisleys. Little, love that little vine, little flower vine in three different shades. You've also got stars. I love Again. the fact that you get the different patterns, but you get them in maybe three colours. Yeah. Three colourways, which is lovely. It is lovely. It makes it very easy to put together, yes. doesn't it? Yes. Check out this lovely big floral. And it is a big floral. How about that? That would make a beautiful dress. It really <laughs> would, wouldn't it? For a tiny person. A tiny person. Yeah. It's a doll's, doll's it dress. It is. It <laughs> is. But it is beautiful love that um more stars there more stars than the oscars <laughs> same floral on red and on white background lovely it's really fresh isn't it and although when i say patriotic it does have look a little american flag okay but it is very small it is very small if you didn't want to emphasize that i don't think you'd know from looking at no, Caro's that actually there is the fabric in there with the little American flag on or you might what that might be exactly yeah. what you want um, anyway that's our mega bundle it's 119.82 you're getting a meter of that fabric for free for free so you're saving yourself a lot of money there there are only single figures of this bundle available um, and you are saving 15 pounds there uh, by buying the bundle, the mega bundle. Now then, we also have some uh, smaller bundles if that's your um, more your thing. So we've got a blue bundle, we have got a red bundle, and we have got a white bundle. Now the white bundle I might just struggle with because there's more than 15 fabrics. Is it five in each or six in each? Six in each, you say. Uh, I'm thinking, yes, if you show the image, please. And we can try and match them. I'm thinking it's that. That's what I would do. Right, so let me just see. Paisley, floral, little. Oh, it's good. 
He's good. Oh. Okay, I got that one. <laughs> Do I get like a ding or something? Like a ding. Like a ding or something. I'm not moving on until I get a ding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, if you're not paid, you might as well get a ding, eh? Right, red. Red, red, red. I think I've got this. Can we check that I've got this one right too? No. <laughs> no. Red. Yeah. Okay, so yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, got that one. That was easy. That was easy. Okay, I don't get a ding for that apparently. <laughs> There's our red bundle. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. That would go very nice. I'm making a Lady of the Lake quilt at the moment. Oh, wow. That would go in red and white. Oh, wow. That would work. It's nearly finished, actually. It's one of those quilts that I thought, I w when I started it, I thought, oh, why? Why did I do this? <laughs> but now I'm really enjoying it. Lovely. Uh, and then our blue. Our blue bundle, last of all. So here's our blue. Love that combination of stars and florals and paisley and that lovely ditzy to finish with. Really gorgeous. And I love the warmth that's added with the pinks mm. and those more raspberry tones. It adds a lovely, just an extra dimension. Smashing. So those are our three smaller bundles from the Bell Isle. You're also getting half a metre free within those bundles too. So again, cracking value. Loving that. Now our last fabric bundle that we have is, well, we've got a mega bundle and then we've got two smaller bundles. This is called Willow. Now, as soon as I saw this range a, a little while ago, I bought the entire range. I absolutely love this fabric. I love the colors, that blue and tan together, cream and tan, just beautiful. And I love these kind of, sort of a nod towards repro reproduction fabric but not quite you know just lovely this is your mega bundle love that sort of slightly more modern zigzag and then these sort of softly printed check that out that is just beautiful isn't, isn't it? that lovely Cara love that absolutely love that and it's got almost like a linen look to it mm. it is a, a regular printed quilt cotton but it has the look of a linen gorgeous so those are the blues and then you've got these fabulous creams and tans and these look like linen don't they they the do print on that just looks like linen yeah it is really lovely soft blue and then these kind of more regular creams and tans and that gorgeous zigzag stripe fabulous so that mega bundle you get a total of five meters of fabric so there are 10 different fabrics within that bundle you're getting half a meter of that fabric for free for 62.91 now then if you would like a smaller bundle we've actually split uh, there's a, a two metre blue bundle. We'll start with that. Let me show you those fabrics. So you've got that gorgeous stripe. You have got that zigzag. And then you've got two sort of larger scale prints. And I love this, this one right here. That's stunning, isn't it? It's beautiful. If you like William Morris style, I'm actually mixing these with like a cat weave and more sort of, uh, well, almost like hand dyed fabrics. Mm. They work really well together. Lots of cream, lots of tan, give a lovely, I, I mean, you know that sort of Japanese indigo yes. look? It's like, that's the influence, but it's a kind of European, and floral it's, yeah it's like denim if you want yes. sort of plain fabrics yeah. to go with those a denim would look beautiful I like we that. do it in the different colors so I like that. yes I like that and fabric. even with these i think the yeah. denim would go well it would work really well that's a smashing idea if you want idea. a plain tonal to go I with agree. it i agree and something that would that would complement the texture as well yes, definitely. or the printed texture certainly yes. so that's our blue bundle for less than 21 pound 
uh, two meters of fabric. Are you seriously getting half a meter free in that bundle? That's amazing. That's amazing. That's really good value. All right, our last bundle that we've got, and then I'm going to hand over to Cara. <laughs> is a five piece collection five half meters in those kind of creams and tans so i just want to show you quickly what is missing what we've taken out and it's this one okay so you don't get this one you get this in the mega bundle but this that's the only way to get this fabric in that mega bundle of of 10 fabrics so this bundle is this one right here And I don't know about you, Cara, but when I'm using like creams and tans in a quilt, I love to bring, if it's like cream and blue, I love to have some of my creams that have an element of that blue in yes. them. It yeah. just brings the whole thing together. Yes, definitely. You know, it's a bit like putting this fabric from the Belle Isle collection in. It's that kind of, it's a bit too white, but it's got that white and blue. I would use that as a background fabric too, because it just brings that color in. So you're getting those five fabrics. Really stunning. And again, you're getting half a meter of that fabric for free. So that's called Willow. And those are our three little bundles there. Now, I just need to remind you of the book, Quilts to Make in a Weekend. It's from Annie's Quilting. It's less than the price of a magazine a lot of magazines now are 9.99 less than the price of one standalone pattern you are getting nine quilt patterns from annie's quilting full instructions fully explained absolutely gorgeous this is a brilliant book and um you know even those of us who've been quilting for decades we all like a bit of fresh inspiration and for, and for those who haven't been quilting oh, for decades, yeah. it's wonderful. The diagrams and everything are so clear, so, so clear. Everything's, everything's set out. We all like a bit of that, don't we? Yes, Nice definitely. and clear. Brilliant. All right, Cara, mm -hmm. I'm going to hand over to you, my lovely. Thank you. I'll get your iron set up for thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Pop that there. So tell us what you're going to do. Well... As I say, it was really, really hard to decide which one I wanted to um, demonstrate. But yeah. before then, I'll actually show you some of the panels that I have made. Oh, yes, please. So, um, I'll show you. This is this one. That's yes. that one. So, um, by choosing different fabrics, you get a completely different God, effect. you really, really do. Absolutely. I'm just going to bring Sorry. that down yep. slightly. There we go. So this is actually what they call a block, isn't it? And the quilt here is made from four yes. blocks. Yeah, I'm going to turn that because it's like mm -hmm. that, isn't it? Yep. So if you look at this, this panel here is this part. I don't know if you can see that here. Yep. Okay. So that's just a corner of the actual quilt um, and that didn't take long there's a combination of um, you know strips um, the half square triangles um, what's the um, like flippy corners flip, flippy corners flippy the technical corners. Term. very technical flippy corners very technical <laughs> um, so you can see how easily you know, it, it is the cutting that takes the time yeah. and it's the cutting that's really important. And I think that's something that I'm going to learn because I've not been doing quilting for very long or patchwork for very long. Um, and it is something that I want to sort of concentrate on mm -hmm. and it's sort of all the, the cutting and things like that. But obviously we've got the rulers, as Stuart said, you know, if you um, stay tuned for later, mm. we've got some rulers as well. But that's that particular one. So I wanted to show you that. And that's with the, the first bundle. That's really lovely. Fabrics. That's with Belle Isle, isn't it? Yes. With the mega bundle. Yes. Beautiful. And would we have enough fabric in the mega bundle to yes. make that, oh that square gosh. quilt, the four yes. blocks? Yes, Beautiful. definitely. Definitely. Beautiful. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then this one is one of the, the simpler ones. They're all quite simple, but yep. this one I'm going to find is here. And again, this one was made with sort of just um, solid fabrics, so tonal fabrics, 
but if you bring in an element right. of the patterns, you can see how different that looks. Oh gosh, that's amazing. So I wondered where that pattern had come from when I saw I it earlier. I know, so that's those two yeah. panels there. So you can get a really different look, can't you? Completely different. And these are um, the five inch squares. Mm -hmm. So um, I know you had your charm packs earlier. Yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. Didn't you? Did. So, um, yeah. you know, something like that would work really, really well. Um, if you want something a bit plainer, so something that's not quite so um, detailed, you can add your tonal fabrics. Cool. So, you know, that's a good thing. If you've got some um, tonal fabrics at home, you can play around with the actual effect and mm. everything. So that was um, very, very simple. And then the final one that I did was obviously um, this one. So I started off with just making one of the panels there. Mm -hmm. And then um, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to see if I can actually finish it. And I will be honest, you can do it in a weekend. Yeah. Great. You know, I spent sort of one day cutting and deciding where the pieces mm -hmm. were going, and then the next day was sewing. Um, and I, I think you might need a little bit longer, but I'm not as quick as some people, so um, you might need a little bit longer to do your um, yeah. binding and everything. I suppose so. at the end of the day, when it's quilts in a weekend, it's possible you might want to spend three weeks, three months definitely, making it, definitely. just enjoy yourself. Yes, definitely. But easy and to follow instructions. Oh my gosh, and I'm, I am a little bit addicted now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I knew it would happen, I knew it would happen. Um, we you know. knew it would happen too, Cara, <laughs> we knew it would happen. So the one I'm going to um, demonstrate today, I want to talk to you um, a bit about um, half square triangles as mm -hmm. well because um, in the next show that I'm doing at 11 o'clock, I'm going to show you um, a different technique. But in this show, I wanted to show you the techniques that they show. Mm -hmm. um, so. so this is for the Megastar, isn't it? Yes. So if I move that out of the way, I've got all my bags of bits. Which is glorious, isn't it? Oh, and it's incredible. I mean, there it's shown in modern, fresh kind of well, I'm thinking that would look amazing in a nursery or a children's room, but you're going to show us it in what are kind of almost reproduction fabrics in blues and creams. Yes. Using yes. the Willow collection. So, so we'll see what a different look we get. So as I say, I wanted to sort of talk to you about um, half square triangles because before I started doing more patchwork, mm -hmm. I was thinking, what is a half square triangle? So now I know. Now I know what one is. So you take um, two pieces and the squares are three and a half inches um, square and you put your right sides together. And I'm just going to go through the information that they give at the beginning of the book. Mm -hmm. um, they got two methods of doing it. Um, although the initial method is the same, yep. um, it's just the finishing off. So you can use this method if you want to create two half square triangles um, and you can use this method for making, you can trim the um, half square triangle down. So that was the other thing that I hadn't learned Ah, okay, before. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll show you. I've lost my pin cushion at home and I don't know oh. where it is. Oh, no. It was a beautiful Liberty one. Oh. So I'm, um, just Good excuse to make around. a new one. <laughs> uh, right. So I'll show you where this information is in the book. Mm -hmm. So half square triangle units and um, the different techniques. And what is wonderful is they go through a lot of detail. So it's really, really clear. So the first one I'm going to do, we're going to draw a line across the diagonal from corner to corner. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do the same on the other one. So I'm just using a friction pen and it will help. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that pin actually. Um, it will help if you've got a quarter inch foot on mm -hmm. your machine. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, don't worry, um, you can work out on this particular brother machine. There yep. is, um, I think it's number 46. Six. 46. Mm -hmm. It takes the um, half square, um, half half square, quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same on this one. So you're just marking from corner to corner? Yes. So 
all you'll do is machine down either side the quarter of an inch yeah so just 46 that's it you use the that's it I haven't used this machine before so well it's interesting watching you use it too Cara because it's the brother FS 250 right and without tuition without the manual car has instantly worked out <laughs> obviously it's so easy isn't it oh I hope so it's straightforward <laughs> but that's great isn't it, it because is. you know you don't have to sit reading the manual for hours no. before you can do any sewing no um the only thing whoops yeah the only thing um I so put you it on sew fast on I'd put it on fast, right. but that's at top speed. It's because you've got the wrong f um, pedal. That's fine. <laughs> Let me just see if this is the right pedal. Don't worry, uh, this is fine. It's going to be a bit of lovely mindful stitching. Do you want me to see if this is the right one? I don't mind. I don't think, no, that isn't the right foot for that's it. That's fine. <laughs> I worked it out a few weeks ago. You did? We thought there was something wrong with the machine oh, and it was just you. one of the other. It's an Elna foot that's got muddled up. Oh, so okay. it's an Elna foot in a brother machine. It will work, but it only sews at slow speed. That's fine. You sure? If, if everybody doesn't mind mindful stitching, I don't mind. <laughs> Michael doesn't mind, so Michael you're doesn't fine. Mind. That's fine. You're fine. He said I'd blame him. Yeah. <laughs> The other thing is, I liked the um, tip that you gave me of making the stitch smaller. Okay. When you're doing, um, so down to a, like a 1.8. Yes. Um, it just means that, you know, I don't like doing a, a reverse stitch. No. On um, blocks like this, because if you don't get the reverse stitch exact, then it doesn't um, open properly. That's right. So, um, I remember way back when, when um, sort of strip piecing first came into vogue and the instructions always said reduce your stitch length because you're going to be slicing across all of those seams when you cut up your units ah. and so if yeah. you did strip piecing then you learned that but after a few years it became one of those things that everybody knows anyway and of course not everybody knows it anyway but it's something that's been left out of instructions now Yes. So it's, it's, it's a good reminder that if you're going to do strip piecing, always reduce your stitch length down, even if your you know machine doesn't automatically do it for you. No, I've, I've found it so much better when I was doing, especially the small pieces. Mm. I've, I've felt that um, I didn't want to um, just do the normal size stitches, and I really found that um, reverse stitching didn't always. No. Um, mean that you could open your seams nice and flat very so, much yeah. very much i think that's a good observation actually yeah so um i'm doing the same for both of these and i'll show you um oh i've got thread caught somewhere don't worry let's just have a little look right i'm not going to do that one <laughs> do you want me to have a little look no it's all right it's all um puckered up i'll do oh, another tomorrow. one i'll sort it do a fresh one thank you i'll sort it oh thank you right okay so once you've done that the the first method and this is the one that's here so this is the um same size square technique mm -hmm. and so you'll just cut you've got you've sewn quarter of an inch from that um middle seam you're just going to cut down there and then open Gosh, I did put a new blade in. That's the only thing. When you're doing a lot of um, cutting for quilting, your blade can get a little bit blunt. Yeah, but we don't change our blades often enough. No, well, I changed it for these projects. Yeah. And um, I've just noticed that it's a bit... So what you'll do, thank you, okay. is when you've done that, you'll set the seam and then you'll open it up and um, because that's on the diagonal you'll just press to the dark side but just do it very very gently and carefully mm -hmm. so this is one method and then Stuart's very kindly done me another one yep. so they both have a very very similar start it's just the finish can I put that on there yeah okay and we'll just cut that one 
and press so you cut this on. one in half again exactly yes, the same as exactly before. the same as before but this one is trim to true technique right have you heard of that i haven't not necessarily called that but i'm i'm thinking i'm understanding the yeah. principle yeah so um and it's making use of your um square ruler mm -hmm. which i've got in the tray yeah so but don't these fabrics go beautifully together? Yeah, they're really lovely. It was classic, isn't it? Blue and yes. white. Yes, yeah. Just as classic as red and white quilts. One of my absolute favourite combinations. Beautiful. Right, so I'm just going to take... I, should, I could have just done it with one, but um, what you'll do now is just trim the dog ears off. So this is our regular method. Yes. You've made it to size. Yep. Is that two together? So you just want to trim off the edge. There may be a little bit of fabric depending on how accurate you've been um, with your cutting. There we go. Have you got a rotating mat? I do have a Ooh, rotating cutting mat. Would, would you prefer be, that? That would be perfect. Let's do that, yeah. Thank you. We'll actually have this on, hang on a sec. We'll have this on air, there we go, at 12 o'clock actually. Perfect just means that you can rotate and trim without picking the fabric up again yeah which is lovely yeah really that comes into its own when you're trimming Definitely. your half square triangle Definitely. units doesn't it so we just turn it and then we can trim the last edge so that's one method so that is your same size technique. You've got your triangle there. Mm -hmm. The other method... So when it's talking about same size, it means you're making it to the same size that you actually want. Yes. Yeah. So you've made it that size. What you can do is when you're cutting your squares to put together, you can actually add, I think it's an inch and a quarter extra. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what you can do To then, the finished size. To the finished size. What you can do is then make this into like a two and a half inch square mm -hmm. so i'm going to just pop that there and this is where this diagonal excuse the tape i'll explain that later but this is where the diagonal is perfect mm -hmm. and it just means if you haven't been very accurate mm. or when you're pressing or fabric when stretches yeah. yeah so what you can do as long as you've got your two and a half inch square as long as you've got that line on the diagonal mm -hmm. you can take your extra fabric off yeah and of course you don't have to start contorting your body no nope. turn the mat oh it's perfect isn't it makes such a difference and then we'll just turn the fabric and do your two and a half again and got the diagonal line make sure you've got your diagonal yeah. line there and this is all in the book and you know if you have done half square triangles this was something that I hadn't done before so you've got your perfect three inch one and your perfect two inch one perfect so if you don't sew perfectly you can trim perfectly yes. either way you get perfect results yep great Definitely. smashing right. thank you okay so um this was this lovely one that I'm doing here so the instructions go through all the um, fabric sizes, all the um, what you'll be cutting, and you'll choose your fabric. So um, for this one, obviously, there were greens and blues and um, oranges and purples, you know, different sort of um, fabrics, but mm -hmm. I, I loved this range. Yeah. So your first thing that you're starting with is the centre panel. Um, I need to press that and that will be um, just some squares in the center and then you've got um, the flying geese flying geese I, I nearly said <laughs> a, I nearly said duck <laughs> where did that come from create your own unit I know. Power. go on do it <laughs> flying geese mm -hmm. um, around the side and then the squares as well and this is the center this is how small that is mm -hmm. and you realize then my gosh this is going to be a very very big quilt yep. which is lovely mm. the other thing that i hadn't done before and i want to show if i can use the yeah of again, course yeah is well i've just locked it so let me sorry 
is doing your um, squares. Okay, like strip piece. Yes. So again, I hadn't done this before and um, just, it's one and a quarter, I think it was. So we want one and a half. So we're just going to cut. So I've joined, I've got my strips, mm -hmm. joined them together. I've pressed to the dark side mm -hmm. and then I'm going to cut my strip one and a half and then cut another one and a half. And if you're a beginner, again, this is something that I hadn't done before. Mm -hmm. I was sort of thinking, oh, I'll just get the little pieces. And so four squares together, yes, yeah, yeah. which you can do, which you mm -hmm. can do, but this is lovely, because once you've done that, you'll put them together like that. So you've got a four patch. You've got a four patch, and you've also already got your um, seams nesting. Perfect. So you've got your seams going in the different directions. So that's a lovely way of making a four patch for and the And that centre. goes in the centre of the star, doesn't yes, it? Yes, I was does. noticing as well, Car. if you just have a look at this quilt at the back that's hanging, same technique, yes. same unit, but has quite a different look. This little unit here in yes. the corner of this block, here, here, here and here, again, strip pieced, goes together it so much more so accurately. Much quicker, yeah. So much quicker. And more accurate as well. Yes, definitely. So that was lovely. So um, you make your flying geese for the side. So that's your half square triangles again. And you join those together and then you join the um, squares at the corner. Fab. Lovely little message for you here, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Teresa's got in touch. Thank you, Teresa. Morning, Stuart and Cara. Morning. Both looking fab. Great tip about using smaller stitches, Cara. I'm about to start a quilt and I will remember that. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, Good. Uh, um, Becky Alexander Frost is watching. Oh, Morning, hi, my love. Becky. Uh, has said, uh, uh, wait a minute. Where we? Morning, Stuart and Cara. Uh, morning to you. Morning. I hope you're <laughs> enjoying yourself. I'm sure you're creating something beautiful. Mm. So, the next stage, I've got all the mats and all the things all over. <laughs> is you're going to do. Um, some squares at the side there and then you'll have squares top and bottom so you can start to see it building up oh that looks lovely so that oh i've got to twist that round i've got to twist that round oh yes because that's fabric the, to yes fab yeah, 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 yeah. that one that as one well to that one awesome and that no that's Phew. fine i know Phew. i was the same when oh. i was putting them together was, oh no that's not right that's not right. it's always it's only an issue isn't it when you're using sort of restricted fabrics yes. if you're using your scraps it probably won't ever happen no that's right that's, that's right. a lovely color combination so again you know you can see it so this is this part here mm -hmm. um and what i'll do is i will do some sewing but i will just show you how it builds up so that's so what you'll do you've got your squares going across you've got the shorter squares at the side so what you'll do is you'll sew that to that that to that and then top and bottom mm -hmm. um i'll do that first i think thank you for sorting out the machine that's all right um what you will want to do is match the center seam and i didn't really understand what pe people meant by saying, um, you know, the fabric will tell you mm -hmm. which way it wants to be pressed. Okay. And it does, doesn't it? Kind of, yeah. 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 Um, because when I was doing the centre one, I actually opened the seam in the mm. centre because you had lots of seams meeting yeah. in the centre. So that was open flat. So these ones were open flat. And because of all the seams that you've got there, that wanted to go into the center um, and it means that you've got i've actually put the fabric to one side you can open that one but you're um, matching the seams so that's the important thing yeah do that on that side make sure the trees are going up the right way it's that one isn't it so Stuart, mm. what have you been up to since I last saw you? What have I been up to? Gosh, well I'm, as I mentioned earlier, I'm working on a Lady of the Lake quilt 
which is a lot of little triangles. Right. Lots and lots of little triangles. Really? Yeah, yeah. But it's coming together really nicely now in what? all lovely reds and pinks. I was just going to say the creams. colours. Yeah. And how big? About 80 inches square. Right. Not too bad. So, not too bad. Um, but the blocks are nine inches finished and there's 42 pieces of fabric in each nine inch block Ooh. and then there are 25 blocks oh my gosh and is it all the way that um, the fabrics sort of lie together that make the the pattern or so it's only within the block and then i yeah. put piece sashing and little nine patches in between Gorgeous. so it's really coming together so i've been doing that and um quite a lot of knitting as well I noticed been knitting a lot um, yeah. Starcraft yes yes, yes with yes. the knit along blanket now you might have seen that on social media yes. we're going to bring the knit along my new knit along blanket that's called Cable Magoria we're going to bring that onto air in December be very beginning of December as a whole kit it's like a sort of uh, fortnightly new pattern coming wonderful. up yeah but when it's all out we're going to bring it as a whole kit wonderful yeah it was really fun putting the, f the colors together oh i bet it was yeah and starcraft yeah. yarns do beautiful colors don't they yeah oh they really do helen's got in touch morning helen uh, she says good morning Stuart and Cara morning Helen lovely calm demo by Cara <laughs> i agree the fabric does tell you which way to press oh thank you <laughs> yeah you do have to, um, you know, just sort of think when you're doing it, sort of, uh, will it make a difference yeah. if you um, press it that way? Yeah. It's one of the things, you know, like you, you, you mentioned earlier about, you know, quilting is quite a new thing for you. Yes. And it's really interesting for me hearing your observations. Really? And the things you're discovering. Really? Because, uh, yeah, because, because, you know, you're... I don't know. I think you're really. Those are things <laughs> that really, really make a difference. Oh, okay. And the fact that you, you've noticed them, you're sensitive to them. It's really, it's really good. Do you know what I mean? Well, I love it because I love new techniques. Yeah. I love learning different things. Yeah. And um, you Let's know, press that. patchwork press that for is. You. Oh, thank you. Patchwork is outwards. something you can do whichever you like. I'm going to listen to the fabric. Oh, I was going to say, listen to the fabric <laughs> and see what it says. Now I'm going to tell the fabric which way to go. <laughs> I see, think to the dark, yeah. One of my favourite techniques to do is whenever I'm pressing, I'll just show you, I'll set the seam and it just warms up the fabric as well. And then while I'm there, I'll flip it back the way it wants to go. And I will just use yes. my thumbnail yeah. just to scratch along, just so that that fabric lies completely flat. And then when you're pressing, press with the seam that you've got rather than against it, because that will bend it out of shape. But if you press with the direction, oh, okay. it'll, it'll lie flatter. Yeah. Oh, that is, that is <laughs> doing things for me. <laughs> Love it. Oh, can I just do the other side? I don't know what you did. Yeah, they're both did pressed. Oh, yeah. Thank you all. I did that so quick, You Cara. did. I didn't notice. I was under right. the radar. <laughs> it was definitely under the radar. <laughs> so now I need to be careful. So when you're actually putting these together, you want to be mindful, as um, Stuart said, about, you know, it's like the zigzag one. You don't want to have that in the same place and you don't want to necessarily have... Um, you know the branches in the same place so that that's how that's going to go and again just pop a pin in where the seams meet and this helps um but you don't i think i'm sort of very much oh it's got to match it's got to match mm. um you'll do your best mm. and if you've been accurate with your cutting yeah i think that helps doesn't yeah. it so and if you're actually pinning as well uh-huh that will help match those seams up. I always say, Cara, we're working towards. Yes. You know, well, I'm definitely I'll, working I'll never, towards. I'll never get there. <laughs> I'll, ne I'll never get there. You know, because, because I mean, then what's, where would I go? I know, I know. I'd never get there anyway. <laughs> oh, I love those fabrics together. They this are is the so Willow pretty. fabric collection. Details are on screen. It's beautiful. I haven't started using mine yet, but I can't wait now. I bet you can't. 
And, you know, again, I would um, look at, if you wanted a different effect, go for tonal fabrics again, mm. and your denim or your, um, just your plain tonal fabrics would work really well. I think your denim's very inspired. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm also going to make a quilted coat out of it, a quilted jacket Ooh. out of it, and now Ooh. you've made, and now you've made me think denim. Definitely. Some Ooh. denim trim, cuff yep. maybe, collar. Yep. Bit of fashco on on the collar. Oh, can I send it to you <laughs> for that? Cream. You're a great hand stitcher. So are you? So are you? No, can I send it to you, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got hand stitching, haven't we? We're have, in the next. We have. Next That's true. Uh, hour. That's true. You have. <laughs> I have. Yes. No, I tried to con Cara into staying <laughs> with me, but she said no. <laughs> I said I wanted to do some prep. <laughs> the the harvest ones. I'm, I, I will think you're right. A bit of sashiko stitching on oh, that yes. would be amazing. Yeah. I will ask for um, the other pedal for the second yeah, hour. Yeah, I know. It's very, it is a bit <laughs> slow, isn't it? It's nice. It's nice to just sort of take some time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we always talk about, I mean, the book is called Quilts to Make in a Weekend, but there's no pressure to do that at all unless, here's a thought, are you going on a retreat? Ooh, yes. Weren't you? But are you now thinking, a retreat, Stuart? What's that? Well, a retreat, let me tell you, is perhaps where you just, with friends, plan to get together on Saturday and Sunday, maybe even Friday night, together in one of your homes. Or maybe you're going to go away to a hotel and have B&B &B and use the function room and all get together and then work on your own projects. Or And you want a project that you could work on over the weekend. I'm thinking quilts to make in a weekend. If you need to convince somebody, look, we could do this. Here's the book, pick a quilt, let's make it. I think what would be wonderful as well is if you had this, the same bundle, like a mega bundle. Yeah. You would all put the different fabrics together That's a really in different good ways. Point. Yeah, so, you, um, you know. Make the same quilt with the same fabrics. Yes. But yeah. I thought you were going to say what would make it really special is a couple of bottles of Prosecco. Um, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely possibly. my, my uh, answer to a good weekend <laughs> of sewing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this and then I will show you how the other pieces go. I have yeah. prepped the other pieces. Cool. But I think with this slow machine I won't actually get the quilt done. Well, while you, while you show the next thing and the yep. machine's free, I might just come down there and see if I can find the right yep. foot. Becky's just said, I just did a Zoom retreat weekend. It was ace. Oh, fantastic. It's a nice idea, yeah. Yes. Then you haven't got to drive anywhere. Definitely. Yeah. And use the money that you would have used on petrol on buying fabric. Cara, you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Why Gorgeous. not? Why not? But you can see how quickly, and it is just half square triangles yeah. um, and squares. I think that's all that this particular quilt uses and a lot of the quilts in the book. Mm -hmm. Viv's asked, hi, Stu and Cara. Hi, Viv. Hi. Uh, what is the Lady of the Lake quilt? Oh, well, if you have a look on my Instagram and Facebook, you'll see a few little bits. It's red and white that keep popping up. Um, I'm not quite ready to reveal yet but um but yeah it's a it's a really traditional pattern actually but let me come and have a look at this pedal thank you see what i can do <laughs> we've got so many pedals we have we have and it's just finding the right one i do think it's a black pedal but uh, if you've got a little bit of scrap, is could I yeah, sew on a little fine. bit of that? Just yes, to... absolutely. Oh, just slightly. Better? There just we go. A touch. All right, super. Just a touch. Ooh. <laughs> Great. Super. Yeah, we started off saying, oh, it'll be, it doesn't matter, does it? It's slower. It doesn't, and then it was like, oh, this is too slow. <laughs> I'll still have to put it on medium, but uh, it's better than, uh, especially no when you're doing something 
that's just straight stitching. It's nice to chat, but yeah. Um, but I mean, the title of the book car is quilts to make in a weekend. <laughs> I mean, you We're not know, at the weekend yet. <laughs> a long weekend. Yes, a long weekend. A long weekend. Viv, you're an absolute angel. She's just said the brother pedals are light grey. Thank you for oh. that. I should have remembered that. Oh, I should have remembered that. We were go. using a black pedal. Um, we've got about five minutes left. Yeah. Can you just? Oh, that is beautiful. So that's that is lovely. Have a look piece. at that. Oh, I just love those fabrics. <sighs> and then flying geese either side. And so I've used some of the um, cream fabric. Like it. The, the camera's not going to be able to get all of this in. Oh, well, our director's is pretty massive. good, you know. Our director's oh, good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here's the challenge. Is so that what they call a wide shot, Charlie? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's going to have we're to be to wider. A, we're to a wide look at that. So that's your other star shape. Yeah. I mean, it's really funny when you're actually making it and making any of the um, quilts mm -hmm. it's only when you stand back it mm -hmm. was like this one mm -hmm. when I was making it I was thinking oh I'm not sure I'm not sure because I've got two creams yeah and I thought oh, I should have put a different yeah. fabric no in. it's lovely but it's when you stand back should we just pop the rest on yes I've got about two minutes left and then I'll Perfect. go and wine wrap up right so then so these are our side, side borders pieces. and obviously we're only just laying it out so you know that you've got your seam allowance yep and that one i can't reach that oh i can do that for you oh, if you want there we go oh you can look oh just inspector gadget <laughs> there we go oh my goodness me Isn't now charlie lovely. will you can you go out any further Oh, look at that. Perfect. And then I'd most probably choose one of the um, tonal ones, you yep. know, the cream ones for my binding. That's our binding. That is definitely achievable in a weekend. Definitely. <gasps> love it. Definitely. I love it. Cara, <laughs> you've made me want two. to use that fabric and the book now. Yes. Without yep. a doubt. Will you get that made up and finish it at home, do you think? yes that'll be a project to finish yes definitely brilliant definitely and it's you know it, it's not huge no but like you said you could actually make it bigger yeah you know you could make another one and yeah. that could be on a quilt or we'll just add so. some plain borders just to bring definitely. it up a little bit definitely. beautiful yeah oh <laughs> you're a quilter <laughs> i'm a quilter <laughs> yeah terrific thanks cara right, and we'll no see problem. you in an hour's time yes, won't we definitely. awesome thanks for all your lovely tips no and uh teaching us those techniques brilliant right just a quick roundup then um, of the products on the show the real kind of star right well there's a few stars here including that mega star that Cara was working on the book quilts to make in a weekend from Annie's quilting it's 7 99 the price is incredible isn't it you're not just getting a few ideas you're getting nine full quilt patterns very very usable patterns every single one of them appealing um, now if I just let you know that if everyone checks out their baskets will be in limited stock okay so um, that will just give you an indication as the morning progresses those baskets will empty and um, so if you're thinking oh I do love that book I'll get it at the end of the morning I would grab it now 7 99 is an amazing price for that book really really good very very inspiring and also you know because they're not necessarily huge quilts a great way of using your stash because often you've enough fat quarters and bits and bobs now fabric wise as well we've got a couple of mega bundles and then we've split those bundles down our Belle Isle mega bundle absolutely beautiful reds whites blues these gorgeous look at those florals paisleys ditzes stars beautiful now once every single one of you has checked out your baskets gone gone if anybody new comes in there are not enough to go around so I would urge you please check out your basket before your bundle sitting in your basket disappears remember you get a whole meter of fabric for free now if you'd like to split that bundle up and you just want to go for the blues or the reds or the whites you can here are the blue 
37.45, you get three meters of fabric, six half meters there. One of those half meters you're getting for free. 20, sorry, 37.45 for the blues. Now, if you want the reds, gorgeous cherry reds, mixed with a little touch of blue, a little bit of soft pink and white there. 37.45 for those. Here are the images. You've got that big floral, the stars, the ditzes. And then last of all, we've got the whites. And this is a lovely sort of bright white background. So um, this is gonna mix really well with solid white. Uh, gorgeous. Now, we've also, oh, I think my favorite thing in this hour, Cara, is the willow fabric. Um, I already told you I bought the entire collection because I just fell in love with it. Uh, 10 fabrics in the bundle, in the mega bundle. Soothing, soft, tans, creams, and that beautiful soft blue. Well, it's not just a blue. There are various shades of blue in there, really pretty. Now, if you, very limited, I should say, very, very limited on that bundle. Great price as well. Now, we've also got blues on their own, four half metres, so two metres in total. Amazingly, you're still getting half a metre of fabric within that for free. We had really good quantities of this, but there are so many in your baskets and so many have gone that we're, we're very limited. We're very, very limited on that. Makes such a statement, doesn't it? And then last of all, we've got the creams and the tans. Um, I mentioned earlier on, I went fabric shopping with Deputy Joan on Tuesday. Most of what I bought was creams and tans because they go with everything. They go with everything. We went out because it was her special birthday and it's actually her birthday today, Cara. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, the, yeah, the, the, de the deputy, the deputy and I, yeah. Let loose on Scarborough. We did have to let Scarborough know before we arrived, actually, just so they could be prepared. All right, but keep going through for that book. We're going to go for a break. When we come back, hand sewing, embroidery, gorgeous. See you in a couple of minutes. Hello, my name is Mark Francis and I'm a guest designer right here on Sewing Street. Uh, you may have seen me before. I don't know whether anybody has maybe tuned into the Great British Sewing Bee, but I was there for Series 6, reaching the quarterfinals. I'm now here on Sewing Street on your screens, bringing you my very favourite sewing patterns for men, women and children. Uh, for dressmaking and tailoring. Uh, so you can fill your stash and your collection with my very favorite fabrics and sewing patterns, including my very own range uh, right here, exclusive to Sewing Street. Something you may not know about me, now let's have a think. A lot of this has been covered on the sewing bee, but uh, I am a Blue Peter badge winner. I know, I know. I haven't worn it in a while. Slightly too old to get into Warwick Castle these days wearing it, but you never, I don't know, do I pass for 16? I don't know, possibly not anymore. Um, and I'm also, hence the piano, uh, a pianist I've been playing since the age of seven, when my school teacher at the time taught me a little under duress from my mother because he thought I would be terrible. Turned out I wasn't, but there we go. Such is life, you never know until you give it a go. <gasps> Have I just invented a new catchphrase? I don't know. You never know until you give it a go. Caption across the screen, please. Thank you very much. So do join me popping up on your screens on here on Sewing Street to bring you my very favourite sewing patterns uh, and fabrics from across the range, including my very own uh, range of sewing patterns from Sew Mark Francis, um, including this very Turlo shirt. Um, more to come on a regular basis, so do keep tuned for that. We have some exciting news. Sewing Street has been nominated in the Best of Craft Awards and the British Sewing Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that two years have flown since Sewing Street started and we couldn't have done it all without our Sewing Street family. Thanks to our presenters and guests for entertaining and inspiring us every day and for all of our viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We've been lucky enough to be nominated for two awards this year, which are the most loved TV shopping channel at the Best of Crafts Awards, 
and the Best Sewing Social Media Account at the British Sewing Awards. To vote, please head to our website to find out all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing Sewing and Yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome back to Sewing Strip, Stuart Hillard. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Now, um, autumn, autumn. I think it's fair to say, it is definitely fair to say that it has become autumnal, hasn't it? Darker mornings, darker evenings, colder, bit gloomier, maybe, bit gloomier my mind starts turning to those cosy activities, those, oh, let's just snuggle down, let's just stay in and do something lovely. And that means for me, hand sewing, knitting, crochet, stuff I can do, sitting cosy in a chair in front of the log burner. Oh, gorgeous. So this hour is all about hand sewing, hand embroidery. We've got some great kits, we've got some great basic supplies and some tools. We've also got some really inspirational books in this hour, so I think it's going to be rather lovely. I wanted to start with some ready-made kits that you can just dive into and you really don't need to buy anything else um, and you are there. These are from the Crafty Kit Company. I love Jo from the Crafty Kit Company. She's absolutely amazing. I love her designs. And these are just terrific uh, designs. And I think these would be great fun. If you've never done embroidery before, hand embroidery, great, perfect start. If you want to encourage children, maybe nine, 10, 11 year old, to start embroidery, Again, fantastic. Um, if you just want something that's really fun and whimsical, again, brilliant. Let's start with the uh, owl. Where's the owl? Start with the owl. Okay, so we'll start with the owl. So the cross stitch owl. Now this is a cross stitch kit and you're getting everything you need to create gorgeous design. Um, I'm gonna open it up so I can show you exactly what you're getting because it's a complete kit, even down to you've got your embroidery hoop. 
so you don't need to buy an extra embroidery hoop for this but bear in mind too that you are probably going to use that hoop to display your cross stitch aisle when it's finished you don't have to you could turn it into a little mini cushion or a little bag front or something like that but a, a modern and, and very fresh way of, of displaying them is exactly as it's shown on the front cover so you can get an idea now about the size of the design so there's your embroidery hoop you're also getting your piece of ada if you've never done cross stitch before ada is a really simple fabric to work on it's an even weave fabric um, and i don't know how closely you can get in whether you can see but on even weave fabric ada what you've got is this sort of um, warp and weft and within that you should be able to see those little holes now joining up the holes diagonally from one side to the other creates one half of a cross stitch from the other dot to the other creates the other side of the cross stitch it makes it very easy it's very child friendly kids love cross stitch you get your embroidery needle okay you get that needle included it's a special kind of needle it's got a large eye it's got a sharp point but it's not it's quite a thick needle so again easy to handle I'm just going to park that needle through the fabric okay then you've got your embroidery floss so again if you've never done um, cross stitch embroidery before you've got something that's called floss these are all pre-sorted on a card so you don't have to start thinking well is this the right gold is this what they meant there um, it's already done for you so you've got everything there and the right amounts as well so rather than having to buy a whole skein of each thing um, I would keep this card by the way because look it's got 20 holes you could use this for other embroidery as well and typically what you do for cross stitch is is the six individual strands in there and what you want to do is actually grab one of them just one of them and pull it all the way out till it's on its own and then pull another one out all the way on its own and then put those two strands together don't try pulling two strands out at the same time you'll end up in knots so all of that and then you've got your kit now this is what's called counted cross stitch which means that you're working from a chart and it is as simple as this one square on the chart means one cross stitch when you sew it so you want to start in the center there are red lines to show where the center is you want to find the center on your ada and you could even do a little um, running stitch a big run basting stitch through your ada just in that cross to show you the four quarters and then you'll just start stitching from there so you'll count one two three four five six seven stitches straight across so you're going to stitch or from the middle out four and then do one half go back and then do the other three and then go back and then you can keep working like that and start creating the body of the owl really good fun and uh, in there there's even a beginner's guide so if you've never done cross stitch before and you want a lovely explanation it's perfect even how to mount it in the hoop when you finish stitching brill everything in there for 15.99 all right so that's our first one from crafty kit now we've got three more let's go cross stitch fox and i'll go a bit more quickly through these because you've seen what's inside this is the cross stitch fox these all go together really nicely or pick your favorite two or three creatures i love the fact that he's wearing a bobble hat and really lovely just to sit and do that in an afternoon when the weather's a bit miserable and you just want to get a bit cozy so again 15.99 we've got the squirrel carrying a nut it's an acorn is an acorn a nut or is it a seed oh can we please ask google <laughs> but again everything in there that you need including your embroidery hoop your floss your ada your needle the lot quick start guide you just need a pair of scissors and if they haven't sold out grab our early bird today it's a pair of sew line uh, seven inch 
craft scissors, perfect for cutting embroidery floss, fabric, paper card for $1.99. Amazing. Um, there's our cross stitch hedgehog. This is our last design, the cross stitch hedgehog. Ah, it is a true nut. An acorn is a true nut. Isn't that cute? Lots of personality. Love it. Now we've got some different embroidery hoops that might be useful. And Michael, I wonder if you can just pass me the two embroidery hoop, the three embroidery hoops, the little ones. Ah, that's perfect. Thank you. So if, normally, like, I, thank you. I started embroidering when I was, oh gosh, five or six, something like that. Um, and then you definitely you had your hoop and you used it for your embroidery and you took it off and then you you used the piece of embroidery this is the um, 5.8 inch or 14 and a half centimeter embroidery hoop we haven't got a re oh we have got a small one sorry beg your pardon thank you thank you it's tiny look but in my hands it looks large because I'm tiny Look at that. So that's your four inch. Now these do look lovely for displaying embroidery, but you can use these just for embroidering small things, or you can just move them around. So two parts, that bit goes under the fabric, fabric on top, line that up, squish it together so it creates a nice flat surface, um, but you don't want it drum tight, and then just tighten up there just to hold those two rings together fabulous that's our four inch for uh, 3.99 we've also got the 5.8 inch very very popular size this so this is pretty much the size that you're getting within your crafty kit uh, for 3.99 it's very useful very useful of course you can use this for larger embroideries you just move it around 3.99 for that now, moving up a size, this is the eight inch size. This is the size that I tend to use most of the time. And it's things like cross stitch and embroidery, general embroidery. You might use this for cruel work. Top tip, never leave your embroidery in the hoop overnight if you're not working on it take it out of the hoop otherwise the fabric is being stretched over a wooden frame and it can um, kind of distort so you always want to take it out and then the last one that we have is 9.6 inches that is really big isn't it that's for 5.99 it's a really good value i just want them all all right, great. Now, next up, shall we look at, oh, so beautiful. Yeah, these are some lovely kits and printed fabrics. Should we do the printed kits first? The full kits. Okay, so oh, so beautiful creates some really lovely embroideries. I want to start with the B, um, the B, and I just want to show you what you get inside your kit. So this is an embroidery kit from Oh So Beautiful. Am I okay to open this? Okay. I think you need to see what you get. Okay. So $22.99 for this. So you're getting your needle. In fact, you get two needles in this embroidery kit. You get all of your floss that you're going to need for the design. And don't forget you split those threads and just use two at a time. You've got your embroidery hoop. This is a six inch embroidery hoop. You get some polyester batting. So these are actually, when you're hooping your fabric, you actually put this batting behind your fabric and then hoop this with the fabric. So you actually embroider through the fabric and through the uh, uh, batting, which creates a bit more dimension. All right, then, and this is what I think makes these kits quite special. You have got an embroidered, uh, uh, sorry, a printed fabric panel that you're going to stitch onto. So if I just drop this down for a second. Now you're going to embroider every element. So you're going to embroider the flowers, the bees, the wings, everything, but you have them fully printed. So if there are gaps in your embroidery, it doesn't matter if you run out of time and there isn't time to embroider all the centers of the flowers well just leave them printed 
But have a look at this, this uh, picture of the finished design. It's glorious. Isn't that beautiful? And so mindful and soothing too. You also get full instructions specific to the kit and also general instructions as well. So your hand is held throughout. All right, so that's our beautiful Bees and Wildflowers kit. Now then, we've got a few more from Crafty Kit Company. Sorry, beg your pardon, oh so beautiful. Beg your pardon. This next one I love, this is a bit trendy. This is the um, cacti. This is the cacti, PE83. Like this one. Now our, um, our producer, Ben, is most definitely a plant person. Lots and lots of gorgeous house plants in Ben's home. And I must admit, I'm getting the bug. I'm getting the bug, getting lots of those succulents and cacti and house plants. Um, it's just lovely to have that green around you. This is an embroidery that reflects that very strong trend. All different cacti, some of them blooming. Very simple to stitch. This is back stitch and this is French knots. Again, $22.99. Now then, this is lovely. This is the Japanese cherry blossom embroidery. This is really special actually, because you can see the almost like sort of blurred image in the background of blossom trees. And then this gorgeous embroidery in the center. All of this background, this is printed. So you get this printed background and then this beautiful embroidery. All of your fabric, your hoop, needle, floss instructions for $22.99. Now then, be kind to yourself. Good advice to yourself, good advice to others. Be kind to yourself. This is a lovely embroidery. So again, printed fabric. So you don't have to transfer the design. It's all there for you. Lovely that. And then the last one that we've got from Oh So Beautiful is the um, hydrangeas. Hydrangeas. So you get that mottled green background already printed. All of the flowers are printed as well. And actually this is the simplest of the kits because all you have to do is backstitch along all the lines, individual petals. So lovely, mindful, sit down on a cosy afternoon. It's raining outside, just enjoy that. And then French knots to create the centers of each of those flowers or, or florets. Now, if you just want the printed fabrics and you're gonna supply your own hoop, needle, floss, we have got a couple of those options as just a fabric pack. So in this fabric pack, what you get is just the piece of fabric that you're going to use to embroider. You also get a pattern guide and stitch guide in there as well, but you will need to supply all of the threads and also the hoop, the needle, you know, $12.99 for that. And then last one, the uh, hydrangeas. We've got that available as a printed panel as well. Details are coming up on screen. There they are, for the hydrangeas. Fabulous, okay, right. Cross Stitch Guild, Jane Greenoff. Wonderful Jane Greenoff. So this is the Plu Perfect Needle Collection and um, this is gold plated to British standard. Now I remember the story that Jane tells about you know how much gold is on these needles and an awful lot more than there is on anybody else's basically which means they are real quality, they are really going to last, they don't tarnish, they feel lovely in your hands and right in here you're getting a beading needle, an embroidery needle, a size 22, a curved needle two of each of sizes 24, 26 and 28 and they are all gold plated to British standard. If I just take the pad out for a second so you can see they don't show very easily but beautiful but that gold plating is all about creating a needle that doesn't tarnish you know from the sweat on your fingers but it will glide through your fabric easily 
like a knife through butter and will last and will stay sharp absolutely beautiful these are real quality needles i think this is one of those cases where if you know you know if you've ever used jane greenoff's gold plated needles you will be banging the arm of your chair right now say they are brilliant they are absolutely fabulous they really are wonderful absolutely fantastic bit of quality that and they come in a beautiful box too so nice to keep them in there but also really nice to gift in there as well so that's the plus perfect collection we've also got a second box from Jane. This is the cross stitch essentials. So if you're trying cross stitch for the first time or you already do cross stitch but want to get in on the what's all this about gold plated? What's so special about Jane's uh, things, you know, scissors, needles? Well, try these and see. $14.99. You're getting two size 26 needles, two size 24s. So all perfect for cross stitch. And then you're also getting a pair of sharp embroidery scissors. And again, those tapestry needles, gold plated, beautifully gold plated. I think when Jane was originally asked, well, how much gold plating do you want on them? She's just like, I don't know, lots, like loads. <laughs> and so they have a lot more gold on them than you would normally expect. Now then, we've got some really beautiful books to share. I want to start, if I may, with Simply Stitched with Embroidery. Actually, sorry, no, can we just backtrack? We should, we should do Jane, we should do Jane. The New Cross Stitchers Bible. Is that all right? The New Cross Stitchers Bible. This has been reprinted, re revised, new content. Every stitcher needs this book. I really do believe that Jane's a, an amazing designer, an amazing, well, I mean, actually just any page you open it up on, you just think, wow, look at that lot. There is so much on every single page. It is quite incredible. Designs for you to work as well. It's not just a reference book. It is everything distilled you know, decades, probably centuries, really, of knowledge, all distilled into this incredible book, which has been reprinted and revised. Look at that, for fourteen ninety nine. Look at this, you're getting so much. The Holly and Hellebore Garland, that's amazing. Look at that, great photography, so many diagrams. And it's so expensive to put pictures in books, to put colour in books, but it's all that, oh, now then, hang on a second. Look at this. This is fantastic. Oh, farmhouses. These are lovely, very quilty looking. That is absolutely splendid. And I know that there's also a supplementary section on hard anger in here as well. Just brilliant. Just beautiful quality from Jane Greenoff. Jane, we love you. Cross Stitch Guild. All right, back to those books then. Simply Stitched with Embroidery. This is from uh, Yumiko Higuchi. Uh, now, first of all, front cover, so appealing. Highlighting beautiful embroideries on some little purses. But let's delve a little deeper. $15.99 for this. So these are all about making purses with a mixture of vases and flowers that, that you can mix and match. How cute is that? There's a little purse there with just the vases stitched on. So you can mix and match. There are insects, there are feathers, butterflies. Look at these. How beautiful. This is gorgeous. Oh, look at the botanicals. That is lovely. Now you're getting all of these embroidery designs. Oh, I love that. I love cross stitching. It's very therapeutic. That's from Kate and Tyne and Weir, isn't it? It really is. I did so much cross stitch and embroidery during my teenage years. And when I was doing things like my O levels, my A levels, and it was so 
soothing and calming and centering as well yeah just to have that and it's repetitive it's absorbing gives you time a brain your brain to focus yeah and it's very good for the soul too i think that's pretty look at that the woodland holiday purse really yummy now at the moment i'm just showing you oh look lemons be that is brilliant look at that one with the beetroot on a purse that is so quirky and fun i love it cats cats love those people boys and girls spring meadow there is an awful lot in this book really beautiful that is so elegant look at those gorgeous book this I've never seen this before those are just all the projects then you've got how to get started purse clasps and frames and then look you've got all of the details in there how to make them up into purses absolutely super full-size pattern pieces as well to make your purses with I'm very impressed with that book very impressed with that book gorgeous stuff all right now then what about everyday embroidery for modern stitches so what you've got in here are 50 iron-on designs and 15 projects anyone can make so first of all what's an iron-on design well let me just open this up and show you now if you're old school like me you'll know instantly what an iron-on is but look they always used to be blue. They always used to be blue in the past, didn't they? But um, these are printed in black. <coughs> They're reversed. You can tell here, look, it's like a tattoo. It says crafter. Yeah. Well, that'll mean knuckles. <laughs> I don't really. Um, but uh, <coughs> what you could do there, and it's reversed, so that when you lay that down on the right side of your fabric, you're going to use a, a warm, dry iron on the back, and it will transfer those letters. Now, I don't know about these, I would imagine, but certainly back in the day, we always used the minimum amount of iron, the minimum amount of time. And if you did that, you would transfer the lines, but you could get loads of uses out of the same transfer, not just one or two, you'd get loads. You've got succulents and cacti. You've, look, look at these up here, more up here. You've got, this is cool, the tall crystal, liking that. Love these little mini, these are almost like little tattoos, aren't they? Little compass, swallow, cherries, mini heart that says mum, definitely from Birmingham. <laughs> Bird skeleton, a scarab, M-O-M. Look, mum. All right, mum. Oh, Teresa's message to say, I taught my last little foster child to sew and when she returned to mum, I taught mum to give her something mindful to do with her What we call on what we call her fizzy days. I understand that. I understand that. Brill. That was a lovely message, Teresa. Thanks for that. Um, so you've got those and then you've got all these lovely projects in here. Cushions, tea towels, crafty home, badges. Oh, look at those. A skull and a bone. It is, this is cool stitching, isn't it? A fabric cuff. If you've got teenage children or grandchildren, get them stitching. Travel coffee cozy. Like that drawstring bag with the succulent on yeah if you've got kids or grandkids who don't think sewing's cool how about that on a jacket that is not that is cool that is cool with crafter underneath it come on next crafting show i want to see you in that you'll turn up on a motorbike yeah everyone the, the crowd part and you swagger in in a denim jacket with that embroidered on the back are you with me or on the pocket of your cardi, that would be me. <laughs> Not very threatening. Not very threatening at all, crafter. <laughs> I love it. That's really cool though. Megan Ekman from Stash Books. Brilliant. Really nice. Really nice book. And of course, hello, cupcake. I am there. Absolutely 
lovely that's a great way of displaying some little embroideries too isn't it on a piece of fabric inside a frame all right now then something slightly different this is called the felt flower workshop so um bit of hand stitching involved but a lot of this is about using felt to create flowers it's fun isn't it looking through books I mean I love doing that in a bookshop but I can be your eyes and ears well first of all that opening page is very very attractive to me Ben we've got your succulents again and your plants how lovely is that See, Charlie and I were only talking. Oh, look. We were only talking the other day. We've got a beautiful vase of sunflowers uh, at the moment. And Charlie said to me, Oh, you know, the only thing with cut flowers is literally the minute you cut them, they are starting to wither. Whereas these are flowers that will just last for years, aren't they? All your tutorials, how to create your individual elements felt air plants anemones lavender that's lush look at that now any one of these patterns we could do as an individual pattern couldn't we make a vase of poppies for remembrance day but you're getting all of these for 19.99 garden rose the succulents ranunculus there's my sunflowers now this uses one color of felt I might be inclined to use different shades and ombre it from darkest around the center to lightest at the back peonies wildflowers may all your weeds be wine wildflowers <laughs> may all your weeds be wine flowers <laughs> Freudian slip basic leaves and stems love it eucalyptus branch brilliant ferns the olive branch oh if you had a little disagreement with somebody you could literally offer them the olive branch and then look loads of projects that you could use now these are all shown well they're not actually all shown I was gonna say they're all shown as flower arrangements or in pots but look there's on a floral pouch I'm just thinking so many of these would work on cushions, bags. That's amazing. The magnolia wreath. I love the colour of the wall as well. Very nice. A mirror. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, really nice product. That's gorgeous. So that's using a metal ring, but you could use the largest... Um, embroidery hoop that we have on the show today was it nine inches you could use that and then add a swag of flowers or branch or something like that wire it on stitched and stuffed aloe plant aloe Vera can't resist a boutonniere and corsage for a wedding yeah or an engagement special day bouquet you could certainly reproduce a bride's bouquet in felt couldn't you as something to keep forever a unicorn headband that's going to be popular love it love it love it love it okay last one we've got uh, is well not quite but anyway botanical embroidery this is from brian haggard and you get pattern plus and iron-on transfers so you've got 25 designs to mix and match it's in like a sort of a folder here it's only a couple of these left actually so i won't get it out but inside you've got all those iron-on transfer sheets and how to work the embroideries projects as well four different projects to use your embroideries on that's lovely 14.99 now i said there was one more book it's our fabulous jenny jackson love any opportunity to talk about jenny love what she does beautiful hand piecing english paper piecing and what jenny's done in this book is to make english paper piecing cool vibrant modern and fresh gorgeous designs 
Lots of lovely Alison glass fabrics who I adore. Look at that lampshade. Great projects. Table runners, mini quilts. Love that cupcake fringed hanging. Yeah, really nice. Quilts there for the bed. Cushions. Yeah. Really smashing. Lovely. Nice stuff that. All right, now let's go from the inspiration to absolute basics of what you need for, for hand sewing, which are good hand needles. Um, let me just... I'm going to go a bit quilty to start with and just grab out the sharps, the betweens and the milliners. Okay, so let's start with sharps. These are all individual, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So these are sharps. Now by sharps, we're talking about, you know, very sharp point to the needle. These are great for sort of fine hand stitching. So this is what you would use for your English paper piecing, for hand piecing. You can hand piece without paper. And you get 20 needles in this set. We've got details? Yeah. There you go, 149. We won't spend long on each one, but it's really worth remembering that Sewing Street sell all these things. So I'd be I'd multi-buy these, keep them in your stash. 20 sharps. Next up, we've got 20 betweens or quilting needles. So these are sizes between three and nine. So shorter, longer. You get shorter even stitches when you're quilting with a, a shorter needle but it takes a bit of practice to get used to it so start with the longer ones and work down in size as you become more confident but these are for hand quilting it, equally if you're going to do something like big stitch quilting you want to go for the larger size in the middle all right that's those and then these are milliners or straw needles you get 16 in a box between sizes between 5 and 10 these are the milliners or straws these are long thin sharp needles and these in particular you're going to use for hand applique they're particularly good for hand applique needle turn applique again 149 which is great value all right moving on uh, I'm going to grab some more of these. We're going to go tapestry, long darners and chenille. Okay, so tapestry first. So these are your cross stitch needles. These are the needles that you might use for doing things like cruel work, uh, tent stitch, tapestry on, on canvas. Um, and also like that big one in the centre, I'd use for things like making up knitting as well. So doing your... Uh, your mattress stitch when you're sewing up your knitting. Toy making as well, really good for if you do knit or crochet toys. These are perfect for, for sewing your, your limbs on and sewing the head on, that kind of thing. Right, next up we've got long darners. So as the name suggests, these are for darning. And aren't we all getting a little bit more into mending? I washed a sweater the other day, gorgeous charcoal gray lambs wool sweater hole right there. But I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to darn that, and I'm going to I'm going to do visible mending so you can see the little darn, make a little feature of it, and um, yeah. Or I might crochet or knit a little mouse and then stitch it actually coming out of the hole. <laughs> I was here, probably was. Long darners. All right. Next up, chenille. These are very similar to tapestry needles, but they have a sharper point. Have a sharp point. Six of these in a, in a pack for 149. Okay, two more, a bit more speciality these, beading and leather. So the beading needles, long, thin, thin, thin. This is the important bit that they're thin, thin, thin. Okay, because to get through even beads that look quite large they often have very small holes and the problem with a lot of other needles is that the eye sort of bulges outwards so you'll get the main shaft of the needle through the bead and then it gets stuck 
on the eye. But um, these are all very thin, very long and straight, perfect for beading. So adding beads to embroideries, cross stitch, maybe adding beads to a toy or even a quilt. And then your leather needles, these are designed, they're very strong, a little bit thicker than you might be used to using. And you're going to use these for adding stitched detail through leather. Now you would still want to have, you know, the holes made in the leather. They, can, they tend to be pricked through. Um, or you could use this for hand stitching through something like pleather, PU. Okay, a couple more packs. These are from Hemline. You've got a set of embroidery and cruel needles. Cruel, cruel. So tapestry, cross stitch, cruel work, embroidery, but more wool embroidery and floss embroidery. And then last of all from Hemline, a set of hand needles. These are sharps, uh, 16 needles there, sizes three to nine. So they're all reasonably thick needles, so for hand piecing. And these are also really good. All of us need these for, if we're quilters for things like hand sewing our bindings to the back of our quilts. Oh, we don't ever take the opportunity to go through needles, do we? It's quite useful sometimes. Glad we had the chance to do that. Oh, we have got a couple more actually, sorry. Yeah. So, hand needles for leather, PVC and vinyl. These have got a sharper point on them, a kind of um, cutting point almost. So you could push these through thin leather, thin PVC and vinyl without making holes first. These are hemline. Then we've got hand needles. These are embroidery, um, double tips with a central eye. Oh, hello. I was just thinking, I've got to admit, I do not know what these are for. These embroidery needles have an eye in the centre and two rounded tips. They're designed for two-handed stitching, especially on frames and hoops, where you can go straight up and down, easier and quicker to stitch. So, here's the thing. This is what you do, my understanding. Here's your frame. Okay, it's on your lap, not on a table. We'll talk about this frame in a second. But you're going to use, so you've got embroidery floss through the centre hole, sharp point at the top and bottom so you're going to push the needle up and then the hand on top takes it up push the needle down the other sharp bit now pull through up down you can imagine how quick much quicker that would be amazing all right and then last of all uh, no two more curved needles so curved needles you'll see these these are a piece of work curved needle these are particularly good if you're sewing together things like boxes. So if you do fabric covered boxes, when you come to join three dimensional things, basically, this makes it so easy because where you can't get a flat needle in, a curved needle just goes, uh, May Martin turned me onto curved needles. We were doing some filming together and she was using curved needles to sew. It was a hex -etouille fabric covered box, amazing. And it would have been an absolute nightmare to try and sew together with straight needles. Good. Last of all, these really recommend these. These are the kind of thing that you think, oh, would I, do I? It's $1.99 and you do use them for so many things. The doll needles, really long, $1.49, what really long, you get a really, really long one. These are for things like sewing on eyes, limbs, the head of bears and dolls, anything like that. But also, if you're doing things like buttoning through cushions, um, you know, I, I sometimes button cushions right through. Uh, these are so much easier to use. You think your needle's long enough to go through until you try doing it. These are perfect. For 149, they're just not worth not having. Now, I mentioned this frame. Isn't that lovely? We've got two options on this frame, actually. So I'm just going to I'm just going to fix this one to the table for a second. Okay. So you've got one which fixes to your table and one which is freestanding. I'm going to start with the freestanding. 
Um, so this is mostly wood. There's a little bit of plastic here and here. Okay, which would makes it really just make it more durable. Okay, so what you've got here is you've got your embroidery hoop, you've got your lap uh, section. So what you do is you actually put this either between your legs on a chair, okay, or under one thigh, okay. That's what holds it secure. So this is now in effectively in your lap so that you can then stitch and particularly good if you like to use both hands when you're stitching one for underneath one for on top so that you can pass that needle back and forth and of course you can do this with a normal needle to turn it push it back down but I mean terrific stick around for 12 o'clock because we've got brilliant task lighting which combined with this is a whole autumn and winter of gorgeous sewing uh, sitting in an armchair comfy and cozy so twenty seven ninety nine. It's a really nice quality piece of uh, piece of work that as well. All right. The other option is to use a tabletop or table mounted frame. So this one is going to screw on. Now, if I just I'll take this off again and just show you. So what you've got here is you've got your you've got your table clamp. Okay. So this is the part that's going to clamp to your table. All right. So this will go on and you just want to kind of unscrew uh, this bottom peg until you have enough space to slide it on. It's not quite, this, the, our tabletop is a little bit thick for this, but this would go on. And then you screw this back up until you've got a nice firm fix on your tabletop. Your hoop then goes in and you can adjust the height um, quite reasonably there. And then when it is at the perfect height, you'll use this little key at the side to hold that secure. Next up, this isn't a fixed uh, sort of rigid kind of 90 degrees. You've got a little metal wing here, wing nut, that you can adjust so that if you prefer your work tilted downwards, so that you can work like this towards you, then you can. If you prefer it straight up or even at a slight angle like this, again you can and it is held nice and secure. Very, very adaptable. Love that. I mean this one, the, the seat um, frame, exactly the same function there. It's just this one tucks under your leg, this one clamps onto a table. But I think that the, um, the lap one is particularly good if you don't have the table near to you. Uh, Salah's got in touch who's in Cheshire saying good morning what a wonderful show totally inspired me to restart my cross stitching thank you Sally in Cheshire you're very welcome we've all got a cross stitch project haven't we that we were really into and we've kind of forgotten about it and it's sort of dusty in a bag grab it out do some autumn and winter sewing lovely and cozy now we have got some needle craft fabric so these are our um, our aiders okay um, they're both 14 count which is a good kind of you know intermediate size um, uh, not too tiny um, if you're if you're a beginner but also not huge it's not binker which is the really big holes 14 count it's from trim it. now this is in the white and you're getting a piece which is 30 centimetres by 45 centimetres. Now, uh, in inches, I always like to tell you in inches, I've put the tape measure down. Oh, well done. Thank you, Michael. I'm back, I'm back. So 30 centimetres is 18 by 12. 18 by 12, thank you. I just like to look like I'm doing something with a tape measure. <laughs> I'm going to put it back around my neck. There we go. There we go. Now I'm in the game. The other option is the Ecru. What colour is this? Cream. Cream. And it is a lovely warm buttery cream. So just to show you for comparison, the white is a bright white. The cream is a really creamy, almost pale yellow. 14 count Ada. Have I inspired you to hand stitch a little bit? All right, we're going to go to a break now. When we come back, Kara Ackerman is back. And it's all things autumn.
Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. We have some exciting news. Sewing Street has been nominated in the Best of Craft Awards and the British Sewing Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that two years have flown since Sewing Street started and we couldn't have done it all without our Sewing Street family. Thanks to our presenters and guests for entertaining and inspiring us every day and for all of our viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We've been lucky enough to be nominated for two awards this year, which are the most loved TV shopping channel at the Best of Crafts Awards and the best sewing social media account at the British Sewing Awards. To vote, please head to our website to find out all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers.
get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's fall, y'all. It is most definitely autumn. I was waiting for a reaction then, which I didn't get. Yay! <laughs> Way. <laughs> oh, we really ought to practice. <laughs> it is now autumn, isn't it? Harvest festivals and pumpkin season. I'm starting to see falling leaves and acorns developing and all that shebang. The horse chestnuts, conkers, and my mind turns to cosy colours, cosy projects. That's what this next hour is about with Cara Ackerman. Hello. 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 <laughs> Welcome back. Hi. Had a busy hour. <gasps> yes. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. Lots of lovely things to show. As always, Cara's brought us some gorgeous projects, including, let me just grab these cushions down. Just love these. So really lovely, warm, rich colours. Thanks, Cara. So first of all, you know, quick bit of autumn decorating, you know, um, a quick couple of cushions. Yeah, simple squares, a simple border, and look, even a toning backing. That is gorgeous, isn't it? rich delicious i love that with a satin stitch over the edges just quilting and creating a frame that is beautiful really like that cushion cara smash him and then a second option now this is mixed with some seeded natural and again look at that lovely and fresh a couple of those in a cushion uh, sorry in a chair a couple of those cushions and again, rather large, Ooh, <laughs> like me on Christmas, <laughs> Christmas Day, Christmas Day, waistline. Um, but isn't that beautiful fabric on the back too? So gorgeous couple of little cushions. Cara's also made this beautiful, there's a house brick in there. That's a lot <laughs> I heavier than I, I was expecting. <laughs> okay. But this gorgeous drawstring bag, how lovely is that? made from striped fabric with a drawstring fully lined as well absolutely beautiful um so many nice projects oh, i love it now let me show you what kari used to make all of these projects we'll start off with the mega bundle now these are pre-printed panels that you're going to get um, 54.97 now i wonder if we could just show do we have a still of all four panels let me just show you because it's easier to show you this way so you're getting four different panels um, top there you've got your strips you get 18 two and a half inch strips in that panel and um, each of those strips is i'm just finding the information here eight uh, two and a half inches wide by 55 inches long so much longer than standard jelly roll strips you get 18 coordinating halloween harvest strips now next to them you've got our fatter quarters now our fatter quarters are much bigger than a standard fat quarter you get four of them again beautifully coordinating with each other underneath you get the hexagons now these are 60 hexagons 
which again all coordinate um, size wise the length of the hexagons each side I think is two and a half inches I'm just checking um, it's a two inch edge with an with added quarter inch seam allowances so I think if I'm correct that makes it two and a half inch size if I lost my tape measure again oh no I put it back I should never put things back should I I should stay messy Nope. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Um, so that's the hexagons. And then last but not least are the squares. So you get 40 five inch coordinating squares. Now then, um, each of those panels is available individually but if you buy them together like that you're actually saving 14.99 which is the price of one of those panels all right so it's a massive saving to make now then let's have a look at the individuals should we start with the squares yeah let me just open this out so you can see love these love these they've been really popular 14.99 so if you buy the mega bundle effectively you are getting this for free look at all those designs i love the pumpkins the falling leaves the corn the poppy heads and those beautiful beautiful colors that deep plum and damson gold and rust creams and a lovely soft sage green absolutely perfect for your autumn decorating and projects you could layer it quilt it bind it call it a table runner you could do that but more individually make place settings mug mats individual mug mats you could use it to create a couple of lunch bags again layered and quilted with something like thermalan um, and create autumn lunch boxes casserole covers uh, would be lovely those kind of hostess bags that you take a casserole to a friend's in um, they'd also be gorgeous to make things like tote bags shopping bags as well or you could even use just like half strips to put around the bottom of bags made out of like muslin really light fabric cheesecloth with a drawstring that you take to the market to buy your fruit and veg in you know hardly weigh anything but have a lovely autumn feel 14.99 for that panel let's go hexagons next the hexagons I always want to just layer it quilt it make things like tea cozies uh, food mixer cover what about a lampshade and again you can cut out the individual hexagons and piece them if you want to but I think that those um, those white diamonds in between are a real feature I love those and you see what I would do I can't really well I'll try and hold it up and, and like this what I would do if I was quilting this is I would quilt on the line and then I would actually you could draw a line if it, if it helps quilt straight across and keep going and just quilt in all directions through so you'll end up with like an X through the center of the hexagon and then either side each side of the, the diamond will be quilted and a very easy way to, to quilt it using a walking foot um, and then once the whole thing is quilted then start cutting it up and making your tea cozy your mug mats bind the edges things like that or make it up into a bag but it's pre quilted it's much quicker much easier great great uh, great bit of the fabric that I love it now next up let's do the Halloween harvest two and a half inch strips this is a really big panel Cara do you mind just holding one side of this please no, with me because it's such a big panel needs two of us it's huge <laughs> I'll come this way if you there we go perfect Ooh. it is really big it is really big let me just stretch that out look at all of that fabric just glorious now of course in Cara's sample Cara you used the strips still together didn't you to make your bag I did and in 
quite a number of them, the actual design overlaps the strips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can either cut the individual strips or you can keep them as they are and use them as I have done on the bag there. Yeah. So, um, so it's kind of cheap patchwork almost, isn't it? Honestly, and you know, this is like a jelly roll, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, sorry, a designer roll. Yeah, you've got 18, but they're 55 inches long. I know, mm. I know. So, you know, if you wanted to, if you've got a, a project or a quilt or something like that that you want to make, using a designer mm. roll, mm. you could use this. You could, couldn't you? The colours are just gorgeous. Really beautiful. And I just want yes. to show this strip down here. The other thing I love, the fact that you've got 55 inches. I love making bags. And if yes. you want to make a crossbody messenger bag, you want that strap to be about 55 inches in length. Perfect. So no join. Love it. Perfect. Really nice. It's ever so inspiring, isn't it, when we get these, these panels oh, home? Oh, honestly, I, I get a bit carried away, just a little bit. We like that. <laughs> we like that. But there's so much you can do, isn't it? There is. I mean, uh, you know, I was sat um, in between the hours um, in the back and I was thinking, oh, I could do that. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> so, you know, it's not, uh, not good. <laughs> It's great. And that's what it does for you at home as well. I mean, we'll give you some ideas for how to use your panels. But I know that you'll come up with amazing ideas of your own. What about using some of the squares or even the hexagons to make little scented sachets? You know, you could put things like ground cloves and all spice berries and things like that. They're a bit crushed inside them and then hang them in the wardrobe or in Beautiful. drawers just to scent yeah. things with. So these are the fatter quarters last panel again it's absolutely massive um you've got some lovely like this leaf print is divine and then you've also got this pumpkin design over here and then that beautiful purple vine print this was the one that kari used for the backing of her um, nine patch cushion which we all went oh look at that that is lovely i'm just going to grab it again look just beautiful and it really finishes the cushion well doesn't it squares on one side fatter quarters for the backing and that border love it um and then you've got the corn down the bottom as well So you can buy them all individually, a mix and match, but your best value is by buying all four in the mega bundle because you're getting um, the squares, those 40 five inch squares for free. You're saving 14.99. Absolutely love that. So those are our main focus panels, Halloween harvest, love it. Um, but we've also got now, I have rather fallen in love with this complimentary bundle. I know. <laughs> I love it. As soon as I saw the colours together, it's like, who put those together? Those are lovely. Those are lovely, aren't they? Now, I want to tell you the individual colour names of all of these so that you know what you're getting, but they are absolutely beautiful. Now, I know down here we're starting with Seeded Natural. Then we've got Biscuit. Yes, please. <laughs> then paprika and then finally imperial and I just love how you know very nicely neutral kind of with a bit of zing yes that all works lovely but whoever thought to put in imperial has brought this whole thing to life haven't they just gorgeous love that 14.99 for two meters of Rosenhubble solids 100% cotton solids Okay, uh, shall we start? Let's start, Cara, <laughs> let's start. Well, what can I say? Um, the inspiration from these panels is just incredible. That nine patch mm -hmm. was so simple to do because it is just the nine squares. And then I've done a zigzag. I, I chose a thread that sort of coordinated. But I used um, either the polyester wadding or the you could use the H640 mm -hmm. to give a bit of um, quilted effect. So you put that underneath first, and then and had you pieced the squares together, no, or are they no, 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 so that's still that's with the just, white lines in between? Yeah, with the white lines in between, which makes it such a quick project. Really and then quick. The zigzag, um, you know, and then just the border. So this was from the str uh, the strips. Mm -hmm. So I just use the um, border from the strip. So if you want to do something that's really, really simple, yeah. 
then um, you know that's a really good one and although it's got an envelope back I'd, I'd put some buttons or something yeah. on it or um, a zip mm -hmm. on the back there but it makes a lovely big cushion it's really um, nice yeah, so squares on the front fat a quarter on the back you've used the strip I've used the strips around on the, the side you could use the fat a quarter for that as well you couldn't could, you definitely Brilliant. or one of the tonal ones yeah that'd be nice and then this cushion here Cara what did you use for this so that's the five inch squares mm -hmm. and then I've used the seeded cotton yep um, seeded but again too. that is just so simple and then yeah. from the five inch squares I, I did the um, cor cornerstones yeah um, use the cornerstones and then a quarter of an inch again on the back I would mm -hmm. have put some buttons I've yeah. run out of time so. or a bit of velcro yeah a bit of velcro just or hold something that like that down. or a zip and then I've used what did I oh I used the um, the some of the strips but cut in half mm. and then did that around the edge love that and it's almost like a I've, piped edge isn't it well it is because when I actually put the cushion together again I've used H640 in the centre there so it's given a, a nice padding to it but then um, the round the edge, so I made the cushion mm -hmm. and then I added some top stitching around the edge and that just gives sort of like the effect. Like of, an Oxford. Yeah. Like, like an Oxford pillowcase, isn't it? Very, very simple. Yeah, very love simple. that. Love that. Um, so where it looks like there's so it's a really sort of clever, well, it is clever, but it's easy it's treatment. Simple. Yeah, yeah. Like half I, an inch in, three quarters of an inch yeah, in. Yeah, I just love um, those five inch squares oh, for just brilliant. putting together um, you know which is really really nice so Quick you can projects. just be so creative and with both of those you could you know build up a quilt yeah you could so very very easily yeah so um, in the previous hour I showed you um, a couple of methods of doing the half square triangles mm -hmm. so what I wanted to do is show you another method that Amber makes has um, Bex has actually introduced me to if you like and I've used it so many times so you'll take um, one of the strips you'll take one of the coordinating colors or in this case I've got the seeded and you'll machine a quarter of an inch from the edge um, what was it 46 wasn't it on here yes so I'm still getting used to it at least we've got the right pedal this time we <laughs> do indeed you'll be I sewing know, like like lovely. wind so I'm just going to machine down either side. So you cut um, your tonal fabric two and a half inch strip to the length of the strip that you've got from the panel. Yeah. And you'll do that top and bottom. So I've, I've actually just got a few um, little projects that I've started that I wanted to show you. Oh gorgeous, how lovely. How easy it was to put things together. But I think easy you've got now. everything there, you know, so there is enough there within that bundle to make mm -hmm. a beautiful um, quilt. Oh gosh, there really is. Yeah. And like for example, the hexagons, you could cut out I don't know, let's just say for argument's sake, a 10 inch square yes. with, you know, obviously you'll cut some of the edges off of the hexagons, but cut that out. So a bit of like the seeded natural around it to create a frame, then a border using the two and a half inch strips. Yes. And that is your block, yes. you know, do four of them, sew them together with sashing and a border, there's your quilt. It's, it, it's incredible how, yeah. you know, I mean, I've, I've got a couple of things here and this one um, sort of, I. Um, was working on in the break mm -hmm. and again you know it just shows how quickly you can do something yeah it's really cool so, so effectively here you're creating a flat tube yes or like a bag handle are we gonna have to turn it inside out no Ooh, no 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 now can are I just mention for the for my producer the iPad's gone off it's run out of battery and the plug is actually missing I've <laughs> got the lead but there's no plug who steals a plug? <laughs> I suppose these days where you can switch them around, they're quite useful, aren't they? Somebody who wants to charge a phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm no like Miss Marple today. I know. Miss um, Marple investigates. <laughs> Stuart investigates. Um, the thing is, you can't. Um, they'll have to read out the messages that come through. Yes, this is the thing. Should I give that a little press? Yes, please. 
I've sidled over, Cara, because I, I know, want to I be useful. Seen, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's nice, actually, to be able to stand side by yeah, side, Yeah, it isn't is, it? isn't it? So I'm, I'm, just I'm getting used to sort of doing things that I did before, but I felt very, very uncomfortable with. But really? I feel more comfortable like with what? Now. Um, Can I ask? <laughs> mm. um, we went on holiday and we went to an airport and we went on a plane. Ah, uh, yeah, and I get that. you know, that was just like, Oh my gosh, I don't know whether I would ever... Anyway, yeah. so it's good, it's good. Right, this is so useful. Um, this is a six and a half inch creative grid. And what you'll do is you'll take some um, masking tape or quilters tape and you'll mark the two and a half inches. So um, you'll mark across diagonally mm -hmm. two and a half inches. And so then wh which line are we following? Is it this bottom line on the tape no, or the top, the line? top line? The top line. So yeah. that's between the two and a half and the two and a half. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. And then I've nicked one of your um, blades ah. because mine wasn't working. And this is where this rotating mat comes into its own. Yes. So you match the edge of the masking tape or the quilter's tape. And so that's with your seam line. Your seam line. Got you. And your cut across there. Then your turn. See, they're yes. worth their weight in gold, these rotating cutting mats, aren't they? They are. I came a bit off there, sorry. It's all right. It's because I'm. I need to be on a little I step. I know, I know. <laughs> well, do you want me to push this mat forward? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Because that just give you an extra... I have actually got heels on as well, and I'm still Bless sort of like... Bless you, Cara. <laughs> You're making me feel like a giant. <laughs> I love it. That's fine. And there you go. I'll, I'll do it again. So yeah. that's... Um, do you want me to press that Yes. For you? So okay. when you open that up, yeah. that's your half square That's your triangle. half square triangle. So it's you'll brilliant. carry on with the strip. You'll turn... I find it easier to turn it over because I find it much easier to have my ruler at this angle. Understood. And you um, will match the raw edge of the fabric to the edge of the ruler. Mm -hmm. You'll cut across, and that's another one. Can I cut the dog ears off? You can. And then when you come to the next one, you'll find that you've got an extra piece of fabric. Oh, okay, so we don't, don't always need. line up with the raw edge. No, so um, don't worry about that. You'll cut across. And if you have a rotating mat, you'll turn your rotating mat and cut the extra piece of fabric off. And then you carry on. And this is just so simple when you need a lot of yeah, um, it is cool. quarter inch. Um, quarter. Those half square triangles. Half square triangles. <laughs> you know, personally, I can't recommend these... Uh, rotating cutting mats enough I, I i don't know why cara i had this silly notion in my head that they they kind of tip really I well i imagined that you'd have this rotating bit in the center no they're I so didn't, flat they're so flat yes they're and so they keep flat. flat it's just yeah at the, the because you've got the base oh, i'm the like i love lucy now in the chocolate factory <laughs> i can't keep up <laughs> But as I say, this shows you how quickly mm. you can do your half square triangles. Like it. And I like them as well. Um, I did do, on one of the um, shows, I did actually do a big one. So I think it was five inch okay. instead of the two and a half. That is big. Um, and that was lovely as well. Because um, you always want to cut away from yourself. Yes, and this is the thing. And if you move your fabric, then that's, you know, causing more problems. Game over. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or that thing that we do, come on, we all do it to compensate. We start doing this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't ever no. do that. Don't ever cut towards yourself. Oh. So that was a strip of fabric and a strip of tonal. And look how quickly yeah. we have made. We've made a quilt, Cara. We have. Well, not quite, but I well, mean, we're nearly. getting there. We're getting there. We'll just carry on, shall we? We're a dream team, Cara. That's what we are. <laughs> We're a quilt Teamwork. making machine. Teamwork. <laughs> so, as I say, I think we've got enough for the last. No, well, that's beautiful, to Charlie. Our director just said to me, "Team that work makes the dream yes. work." Yes. How beautiful. I know. I've got I a know. tear in my eye, Cara. Oh, there you go. There you go. Whoops. So I'm just going to lock that again. Yeah. 
so we just turn that over me too and lock that so I can use it just as a normal the other thing as well Cara that I'm noticing pressing these strip the strip panels the strip fabrics they are incredibly stable they are they are the not cotton, stretching no, they are not distorting no, the cotton that um, you know they're using tones very very well with beautiful the, um, other fabrics. yes yeah, and just so really firmly good. woven as well it's just not stretching no oh. and this is where you can get just carried away isn't it so oh, we, yeah we can do flying geese if we wanted so you can make a panel of flying geese like that oh nice like it okay yeah yeah then you can you'll think of lots of different ways but you can pop your squares in like that mm. and continue oh yeah like oh that. yeah and keep going and, and like create yeah that and if you had more you do oh, it. I'm liking that. And then you have another then, one at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so this is is just wonderful. So you can just play around with it. Yeah. Um, and then you or can start put points, in of course. If they're turned, if they're turned around, you've got your sort of classic, your classic yes. star points, haven't you? Yes. As well around a, yeah. a central star. <laughs> oh. I just you just can get so carried Sorry. away with it yep. yeah and, and then you could use one of the five inch squares cut down to four and a half for in the center couldn't you oh look at that <laughs> look at that lovely so that's one method of using some of the um, panels and the strips which is fab and then um, this was just another one puss in the corner is that what it's called yeah what's it called puss in, in the, the corner. corner okay i've yeah. not heard of that one yeah um but look at the beautiful fabrics mm. you know and then what you could do is just get a little bit carried away and do i think i'll go with the biscuit is it biscuit yeah go with the biscuit so personally i would call that biscotti yes oh, <laughs> Do we like yes. a bit of biscotti? Oh, love a little Yummy. bit of biscotti. Yeah. Um, so you could do that and then have another cornerstone here mm -hmm. and then just build it up and Oh, build would it you up. go to your panel for the cornerstones? Yes. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I like it. Or you can just do your cornerstones from one of the strips, just um, mm. trim them off. Um, so that's one way. Um, using the um, half square triangles, this is where we've cut down to the mm -hmm. four and a half. We didn't plan that did we? we didn't, no 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 we didn't sort of cord perish the thought we should rehearse <laughs> cara goodness me <laughs> um, please don't suggest that <laughs> so four and a half inch um so trim your uh, panel down to four and a half inch yep then you've got your um pieces there and then what you can do and this is what i was wanting to do was actually then I'm going to machine some of this. Oh, this is looking good. And oh, I really <laughs> like that, Cara. I'll show you how that came about. <laughs> That's my drawing. Good. <laughs> Listen, this is this is what we all we all do. This we all do. This. And I just got carried away. I just thought, oh yes, I can do that. Yeah, I can yeah, do yeah. That. But doesn't that look? Yeah, that beautiful? is terrific. I love that. And I then I'd that. actually possibly um, use some of the strips around the edge because there's quite a lot of cream going on there. Are you going to stitch that up? I'm going to stitch oh, this brilliant. up now, so. brilliant, brilliant. I love it. While you start sewing that, does just give me a little chance just to remind you perhaps of a couple of other bits and pieces that we've got on the show which are always useful to have. Um, we've got a premium polyester craft wadding all in one. It is 40 inches by 40 inches, so perfect for baby quilt maybe, or a small lap quilt, or wall hanging, 5 dollars It's 100% polyester, it's a two ounce weight, so a thinnish, a thinnish one from So Easy. Just turn that around so you can see. Very useful to have in the stash, that. Also really good for things like, you know, tea cozies and placemats and stuff like that. Things you want a little bit of padding for. Then we've also got H640. 
we're big fans, aren't we, Cara? Oh my gosh. Of a bit of H640. I know, what did I do before then? I know, <laughs> and I remember reading in early Tilda books used to talk about uh, fusible fleece. And of course, it was like, well, what's that? Yeah. It's not interfacing, it's not batting, but this is what it is. It's a thin polyester bat, an H640, we sometimes use H630, which is thinner. So the higher the number, the thicker the batting. This is H640. And then polyester, very, very stable. There's no real stretch in this. And then on the back of it, or one side of it, you've got a dot matrix which is fusible. So you can fuse this to your fabric, and I tend to fuse on the outer fabric. Don't know about you, Carl? Uh, yes, that's what I did on the, the, kind of that the one. Pretty, yes. yeah, the, the, the nice front. side. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, depending on the project, you might yes. fuse it to the lining. It all depends. But um, half a metre piece here is six ninety nine. And just to show you what you get in half a metre is a, yeah, there I am, <laughs> there I am. <laughs> Glad somebody found it. I love it when people do it with <laughs> dogs though, you know, and the dog's like, Where's oh, he gone? they just sit Where's there gone? going, I know what's coming, I know what's <laughs> coming. Or kids love it. Yeah, yeah, they really do. Sure about our viewers. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, and then just a couple of other things that are very useful to have. Some iron-on interfacing. This is one meter by one meter. So a big one meter square of hemline. This is a medium weight interfacing. So things like your drawstring bag. I actually, I yes, definitely. I didn't put anything in there because what I'm going to use that one for is all my, um, fabrics mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I felt that I didn't need but if you wanted a bit of um, body to it then the interfacing is a really good one but because of the quality of the cotton yeah um, the thickness was g good enough yes yeah so um, you know that was good but very useful to have anyway so I'm just fiddling with my back my talk back is just crackly a little bit I think that'd be all right um really useful to have as well just sometimes for bags and things like that bag flaps it's quite useful and then last of all uh we've got some bonder web oh actually i've got a couple of things still to show you actually bonder web this is a pack of bonder web it's 30 centimeters wide by sorry 17 and a half centimeters a bigger pardon by 1.2 meters so good if you want to add a little bit of you know fusible in um applique to things which you could definitely do some of these motifs if I just grab the fatter quarters I'm thinking that this kind of pumpkin shape here I wouldn't try and cut it out very precisely but I would cut roughly around the outside edge fusible on the back first a big piece then cut out roughly and then fuse that motif to a larger piece of cream fabric and then you could create a sort of a, a patch or something like that out of that so that's the um, bond web now you saw Kara using a six and a half inch square ruler for that triangle technique we've got it right here this is the creative grids KB92 and this is the creative grid six and a half inch ruler we're both big fans of this ruler, aren't oh, we? Oh, honestly, um, I have used it so many times for different projects. It's mm -hmm. really, really good. What sort of things do you use it for? I mean, we've seen the triangle technique. Yes, but, um, you know, cutting, um, making, squaring up um, the quarter, uh, half square triangle yep. pieces, yep. Um, squaring up panels, sort of when you've cut it, mm -hmm. and when you've machined it, um, you know, it's just really, really good. I love mine just for scrap quilting as well. Yes. Because you know what, the last thing I want to do, I was just looking for a six by 24 ruler, but when you're cutting lots of little pieces of fabric up into squares and strips, you know, where you just got enough for one or two triangles, the last thing you want is to be wielding a great big ruler around. A little six and a half by six and a half, you can just cut, onto the next scrap and it's much much quicker and it will encourage you to use your scraps if they're easy to deal with if they're easy to cut you will use those scraps up I promise you you will mm -hmm. I do a little bit more yeah definitely Thank you. 
bit more you want me to do a bit more pressing please. oh okay thank you i had to um move some of the um seams over mm -hmm. so i could nest them so okay you will yeah. notice that but, but i do that all the time too yes just move it i repress the yes. seam the other way yep and then do you want the seams open or to one side? Um, I think open. Down. Because you've, yeah. Okay. They'd go down yes. quite nicely. Yes, they would. Yes. Yep. You decide. No, you decide. Yeah. I'd go Not down. Not too bad, are they? It's very impressive. Are you impressed? Better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends what day don't, you catch me, Cara. I know. Don't, don't look at the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with a few very rare exceptions, and, I do, and I'm doubtful even about them, I don't think anybody is kind of perfect every day. No, do you know what I mean? No. Even those quilters who win all the prizes, you know, at festival, Ooh. I bet they have days where they're like, yeah. oh, I'm not showing anybody that. I know, I know. But nobody else would notice. Nobody else would, um, well, maybe another quilter might. But, um, you know, I just think... Something is handmade, mm -hmm. so um, you know that's the beauty of the item, isn't it? Totally agree. Totally just agree. One seam there, and then I can. That's perfect. It's Thank lush. you. Yes. Uh, do you want me to press this or? Yeah, um, it's just one seam. I think it was. Oh, is it this one? one? Just wants to go yeah. in. Yeah. Um, press it the same way as the others at the moment, um, and then I'll. Well, they're going it. in different directions. <laughs> I think they go from the. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not sure. It just needs pressing from the front. No there. worries. And then I can. Any which so way will do. Yes. So then the this is perfect. I've got some of the seams open, but I'm managing to nest and match. Mm -hmm. Again. Again, I'm really impressed with how the panel fabric is pressing. I know how the the um, Rosenhubble solids press, but these press so cleanly. I know they do. Yeah, they do. absolutely super. Right, I must have made a bit of a miscalculation on one of my measurements because that I need to just pull mm -hmm. a bit to match the seam. But that's okay as yeah. well if you need to. Right. Bit of massage. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just popping this. And is there a name of this particular panel? Halloween Harvest. No, I meant the um, the block. Oh, the block. That is a very, very good question. I um, don't know. <laughs> probably okay probably or maybe not i mean well, like Cara's. Cara's, Cara's, Cara's choice Cara's choice there you go cc there are lots and lots of blocks aren't there that have a name this, and then choice yeah and this this i'm sure that somebody out there would recognize this mm. um, but again it depends on the choice of fabrics mm -hmm. and where you're putting the fabrics and you can change it completely, can't yeah, you? Yeah, because where you've put that sort of light frame around the centre square, if that was a dark frame mm. and the cornerstones were still quite dark, would have a totally different look. Completely different look. Mm. But do a few of these and then join them together or yeah. sash them mm. um, with some of those tonal fabrics. Mm. It would be really good. I'm always very keen on the sashing car because yes. then you don't have to match all those triangles <laughs> up. Yeah, and I think sometimes you're actually um, you, you're bulking up the seams too much. Yeah. So. And sashing, of course, gives a frame to the block. It does. It, it displays the block better. Smash him. It certainly does. Oh, it's lovely. I'm feeling very inspired to do some autumn crafting now. Mm -hmm. I tell you what I've got to do actually, um, I get home on Sunday and then next week I am going to be making some orange and clove pomanders. Ooh. You know the ones where you use a toothpick to yes. pierce into a fresh orange and stick the cloves? Yes. And then I've got orris root powder. Right. Which fixes the scent and, right. and then you dry them out and then ready for Christmas. Excellent. So that's going to keep me out of mischief. And um, does that mature? Yeah, you dry them. They dry. Yeah. You put them in a paper bag with the orris root powder and things like cinnamon okay. and, and ground um, oh, allspice. Nice. 
and then the orris root powder fixes the scent and so they last much longer and they'll stay fragrant for years excellent so Gosh, the really plan good. is to do like six or eight of them i don't know i might give up the will to live after the first one <laughs> who knows how long it'll take but i'll give it a go and um, yeah and so then we can have either like a big bowl of them oh nice a smell on a coffee table yeah. yeah or maybe ribbons and hang them on the tree something yes. like that yes good fun so Beautiful. those are my plans for next week. <laughs> what, about you? what about you? As well as, as well as, um, Lady of the Lake. Yeah, as well mm. as your quilt. Mm. Um, I don't know if I've got many plans next week. I've got a couple of other jobs that I do, so I think I've got some work to do with yep. those. Um, oh, that serious work. But at but the end of next week, I'm away on holiday again. Gay. I know. Cara. I know. Exotic. No, Aaron. Well. Pretty exotic. Pretty exotic. You love Scotland, don't oh, you? Oh, absolutely love it, yes. Beautiful. Do so, you do some walking while you're there? Yes, definitely. Mm. <gasps> um, Smashing. Yes, so I'll be catching up with everything before I go. Going with friends? Uh, yes. Mm. Yes, which will oh, be nice. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Well, get inspired while you're there, won't you? Oh, I definitely <laughs> would. Scotland always inspires me. I mean, some of the colours here, you know, the heathers and mm. um, especially on Aran, at the beginning of the year, they have all the rhododendrons, Ooh. which are stunning, absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. Um, but I don't know what, you know, the colours will be. I'm sure it will be absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Fab. Lots of pickies, please. Sorry? Lots of pickies. Oh, I don't <laughs> know about that. <laughs> Brilliant. We'll see. Brilliant. Right, so that. Do you want to? Yeah. As I say, I think I miscalculated on one of the um, one of the measurements. Okay, so the only other one that I wanted to try and show you as well mm -hmm. um, is this is the nine patch. So, you know, this was all from the same panel. So you can see that this one, I'll grab this cushion, is grab different. It, grab it. So if you wanted to make a set of cushions, oh yeah, you could easily do that. Same but different. Yes. But um, sorry, turn it round that way. So that's one I've made, and then this is another nine patch like that. Mm. So. With this one, I've put the um, seeded cotton around the edge, but again, you could actually go for um, one of the strips. Mm -hmm. And these are all the bits that I've got left over. I've got Amazing. so many things that I could make with these. Yeah, yeah. More projects. Yes, definitely. Extra projects. Definitely, definitely. Da, da, da. Okay. I'm just going to grab okay. those. Thank you very much. So you could just pop that around the edge or take one of these and pop this at the top or the bottom. Yeah, that looks, oh, that looks lovely. Yeah. And of course as well, because you've got 55 inches. See, normally if you want to try and border something of this size, even for a cushion with a jelly roll strip, you haven't got enough. No, that's right. You might just get away with having it with cornerstones, yes. but with 55 inches, you've got enough. Can I just replace this for one <laughs> second? Just check that out. I think that deserves a cheer or something, <laughs> something. <laughs> oh, sorry. We were waiting for a sound effect, Charlie. <laughs> right, ready? Hooray! <laughs> that is gorgeous. <laughs> there you go. Oh. You did get a... Thank you. I didn't hear it. That is gorgeous. Really stunning. But it is, uh, again, it's the choice of, um, you know, the fabrics and yeah. everything. Yeah. And look at on point as well. Yes. As soon as you put on point. Now, yeah. what you could do there, of course, is use your fatter quarters to yes. cut your setting triangles and Ooh. put it on point. Ooh. Oh, lovely. There we go. Lovely. Right. OK. So the other one um, I was going to do, let's pop that one back, is, I think, let's just show you how I made the other cushion. So that's this one here. So if I lay the fabric on top, mm -hmm. you can see the different effects mm. that you can have. I just love the colours. In fact, I'm going to do that. About 15 like minutes that. left on the yeah. hour, Cara, just to give you an idea. Yeah. So that one. 
and that one and then find all my bits got some squares somewhere we well, can cut the squares out and pop those in no i can't find them at the moment what did oh, you want here we go. The squares you oh here we go i knew i got some somewhere so just pop those cornerstones mm. like that mm. so again it makes it all quite different yeah it does um the other one that you can do is obviously use the to tonals so i might cut a few of those pop that up there. yeah just love the way that you've picked out those different squares to highlight i mean that's the great thing about the five inch square panel you've got 40 different five inch squares some of them are all over designs some of them are kind of almost like they've been fussy cut designs or kind of you know a little motif that you can really highlight just gorgeous and you get rather than having to hunt for all those different fabrics I know. they're all there i know so you're using some of the biscuit again? Yes, I, I'm, I'm drawn to the biscuit. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just get you a little biscuit, Cara. Oh, it's nearly lunchtime, isn't it? As soon as you started <laughs> mentioning biscotti, it made me start thinking of um, panettone. <gasps> that's an, that's oh. very um, autumnal. Yeah, I'm an absolute monkey for that. Are oh, you? Oh, yeah. Do you make? No, I've never made it, but we buy one every year in one of those beautiful tins that looks like a drum yeah. at this big. Oh, I absolutely love um, panettone. Ooh. And then there's always a bit left over in the new year and I make panettone bread and butter pudding. Oh, I was just <gasps> going to say, I um, discovered that I think last year, somebody sort of said, oh, beautiful. if you get panettone and you haven't, you know, it started to Scoffed go. Scoffed a lot. Yes. Um, yeah. That's absolutely gorgeous. Got a lovely message from a collector who's in Merseyside. She says, lovely show today. Lovely show today. Come on. Uh, autumn is my favourite time of year and these cushion designs are fab. Great tips from both of you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it's my favourite time of year too. It is mine. Is it? It really is. Um, I don't mind the idea that we're going towards sort of like a hibernation. Right. Um, I quite like that. Yeah. Um, I know some people don't, mm -hmm. um, but you know. But I that's think why it's, it's nice. good to have these projects because it's sort of, you know, you you make friends, don't you? This is what you do. We're making friends with autumn by by doing something special that is autumny, that's lovely. I absolutely love the colours of autumn. I think that's mm. my sort of thing, is all the leaves and mm. everything. It's just stunning. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What and I love kind to? of, you know, scented candles and roaring fires and that sort of glowing light. You yes. Know? Yeah. I'll definitely um, getting the fire. I don't know about you, but I've noticed spiders. Everywhere, yes. absolutely everywhere. Are you um, a lover or a hater? Um, just in the Tolerator. garden. What I don't like <laughs> is if you don't spot them, and I, I you know, I, I think you don't spot them, and you walk through one, and right. I think all that incredible work that they've True done, enough. and you've just yeah. done it. You yeah. Know? I always apologise. I always say I'm really sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't like it, okay. especially if it's near my face or right. anything like that. But um, I just think they are just magnificent. Mm. And in the mornings, when you get the dew on them, yes, oh, uh, that's they are stunning, absolutely stunning. Yeah. So. They come inside, don't they, to get away from the wet. So See, I, I actively encourage spiders into my house. I into put a sign, your house? I do. I put a sign outside, all welcome here. Um, do you know what I do? Because, because spiders eat all those other things that I don't like. Right. What okay. do they eat? Well, things like flies and little bugs oh. and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so of course they do. Of I don't mind do. that at yeah. all. Yeah. And, and also, you know, it's like I can't. I'm going to have to just sew today because I can't 
clean up there because there's a spider's web. Um, you know, it would be wrong to destroy that, so I'll just have to leave it until spring. It's my excuse and I'm sticking to it, Carl. Can I have my scissors? You can have your scissors Thank you. back. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good excuse. No, but I, I, I think call me weird, but I like them. I think they're quite charming in the house. I don't mind them. Um, daddy long legs. Right. For or against them? Daddy long legs. Because they come out at this time of the year as okay. well. Okay. I'm 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 pro. I'm pro daddy <laughs> long legs. Yeah. Spiders in the house. Mm. Then I can. I don't kill them. Mm. Definitely don't kill them. No. I will catch it with a. a cup yeah an overturned cup and yep. a piece of cardboard um but if it's upstairs i put them out of the window and i suddenly right. think no that's <laughs> they go out the window and that's it <laughs> um <laughs> not very Fly, good is my it? pretty <laughs> oh you have no wings oops um no i don't like killing them definitely no. don't like killing them no well, but some people I do appreciate, some people who are watching now may be yeah, going, yeah. <gasps> can't yeah. stand, yeah. Don't, don't talk about spiders. Okay, we'll stop. <laughs> we'll stop, we'll stop. Love, love, love that biscuit. It's lovely, it is isn't a beautiful it? so colour. Yes. We only on see a fraction of the, the solids that we do, Cara. Yes. Um, it depends on what your decor is. This mm. on a leather sofa, a brown leather sofa. Nice. Would be gorgeous, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Very or, nice. um, you know, if you've got a rattan. Oh, black. Or black. Looks yes. really nice against black, doesn't yes. it? Because it's almost like a camel, caramel. Yes. Sort of. We're talking about food again, aren't I we? I know, I can't help it. <laughs> I wrote a whole book about bag making, but managed to just orientate everything around food. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I mean, who does that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Squares or sashing? Squares? Do you want it towards the sashing? Um, hmm. Or the squares? Which way, which way is it telling you? Well, you see, the th uh, here's one of my little top tips, if I may. Yeah. Um, whatever you want in your patchwork to pop or yes. stand out, yes. then iron your seam allowances under that. Yes. So if you want the sashing to be a little bolder, yeah. Or the squares to be bolder. Yeah. So which would you like? Um, squares. 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 Your wish decisive. is my command. That was decisive, wasn't it? it? Was. Squares. I don't know whether I like that one or that one. I'm just getting a bit carried away here. Gorgeous. If I wasn't already in love with autumn, I am now. No, I know. And the harvest as well. That's yeah. Just such a nice time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what we've got Difficult harvest half. this year. Very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, I think... All that hot weather really brought the yields down of corn yes. and wheat. And Although we, you know, you associate think all that lovely sunny weather. We had lots of sunshine and... Isn't that a good thing? But it was a bit too much, really. I know. That's all done for you, Cara. Thank you. Thank you. How are we doing time-wise? We've got about I'm five just, minutes left. I'm just carrying on. Yeah. So, I'll show you what I'm planning. I may not have time to sew it. But you can see I've got so many bits and pieces everywhere. Mm. So, I'm planning on these as cornerstones like that yeah then that there haven't cut, cut enough i don't think uh that will go there so are you doing another cushion here no i think a, a bag panel. a bag would be gorgeous yeah i i've, I've done enough cushions mm -hmm. i'm thinking bags now yeah well that could be an all over like throw quilt couldn't it or a, a oh, table gosh, runner yes. Yes. not blocks but just keep going yes block sash block sash yeah and then you could put something down the, um, let's just try some of the strips yeah. down the side. Obviously, I've got seam allowances to allow there. Mm. I'd have some more cornerstones there. Mm -hmm. But then, to go with that one, like so. Oh, no. Oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. No. These ones. No. No. Ooh, not nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, could go like that. Yeah, I know it's going the other way, or you could go like that. 
No. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> kind of I didn't know away. what to say, Cara. <laughs> <laughs> you could say whatever you like. Um, or you could go like darker. Like that. That's yeah, the yeah, darker. darker. Is yeah. Yeah. Very yummy. So there and we again, go. And again, on a leather chair with candlelight, roaring fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my shopping in my bag. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Gift bags. You know, th this I was thinking because of the different size and everything. So what I've done here, I've used one of the fat quarters for the lining. Mm -hmm. And um, then I used the strips and I cut those in half. Mm -hmm. And then I did these spaghetti straps. Mm -hmm. Um, I love a spaghetti strap. Yeah. I haven't really got the shoulders for them, but... <laughs> and then, but then I was thinking you could make um, so many gift bags like this, oh, couldn't you? swag bags, Cara, that's yeah. what they are. Or a drink bag. Yeah. A bottle, if you're going round to somebody's drink. for, yeah, for, um, you know, a meal or something like that. And because you've got the strips, this looks like it's an extra piece on the top. It does. But it's not, it's no. just the strips. So if you look at it like that... Very nicely done. I like it. And then I did a box bottom. And mm -hmm. as I say, the, the whole idea was this was going to be for my fabric. So that's why I did quite a chunky mm. box bottom. Mm. Um, but that was half an hour to make. Awesome. It's just incredible. So Because the piecing's so been done for you. The it strips has. are already together. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So inspiring, Cara. That's what a whiz right. you are. <laughs> what Thank a whiz. You. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much Thank you. for showing. And not just one, but loads of ideas this morning. That's I hope you've all right. been scribbling these down at home. You can always watch again, of course. <laughs> oh, Brel. Cara, do you know when you're back? Um, I do, but I can't remember the date. It's all right. Um, 6th of October, I Hurrah. think. 6th of October. That's no time to wait at all. No. Well, you have a wonderful holiday. Thank you very in much. In the meantime, was it yes, Aaron? Aaron. Yes. Beautiful, thank you. beautiful, thank you, beautiful. Thank you. And I'll see you all when I get back. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah. Thank you. Now then, uh, let's just do a quick recap. Cara's been using our four harvest halloween or halloween harvest uh panels there are four different panels available let's just show you the four panels that you can buy as a mega bundle this is the best value here you're saving 14.99 you get the 18 two and a half inch strips but remember they're 55 inches in length each one and you get 18 of them all coordinated then you've got your four fatter quarters we call them fatter because that's what they are they're bigger they're wider and deeper than a normal fat quarter you get four of those you get 60 dime, uh, hexagons again all coordinating beautiful range you could just use it as fabric or cut them up create something else out of them and then down the bottom there you've got the 45 inch squares Again, you've got fussy cut looking designs, you've got all over designs, you've got florals, tonals, just perfect. 54.97 for the set of four. Remember, you can buy them individually, hop on the website, you'll see the individual items as well if you want to mix and match and create your own, maybe a bundle of two or three. All right, also on the website, of course, you've got the H640 and the interfacing, the Bonda web that Cara uh, and I were talking about, and also that gorgeous range of coordinating solids, including the natural seeded, the biscuit, paprika, and imperial, which are absolutely perfect. Just think those are beautiful, beautiful colors and they go together so well. All right, we're gonna to go to a break. Our last hour is all about lighting and tools for your autumn winter crafting. So don't go anywhere, stay with us for that last hour. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as a quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist 
and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We have some exciting news. Sewing Street has been nominated in the Best of Craft Awards and the British Sewing Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that two years have flown since Sewing Street started and we couldn't have done it all without our Sewing Street family. Thanks to our presenters and guests for entertaining and inspiring us every day and for all of our viewers for tuning in for all the fun. We've been lucky enough to be nominated for two awards this year which are the most loved TV shopping channel at the Best of Crafts Awards and the best sewing social media account at the British Sewing Awards. To vote, please head to our website to find out all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. 
full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi there, welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. This is our last live hour today on Sewing Street, but we haven't finished yet. We have got so many gorgeous products in this hour. A lot of it is about that kind of autumn winter crafting. There's a big emphasis this hour on lighting, but also on the Brother embroidery machine, which I just want to start by showing you. Um, we were talking about hand embroidery earlier on and we actually got quite a few messages about machine embroidery and so i thought it would be really good just to have a quick look and then we'll look at lighting on the brother embroidery machine now this is a fantastic machine it's from that great name of brother this is a disney edition embroidery machine which means that you've got 62 i think embroideries lo already loaded onto your machine all disney Okay, so you've got things like your, um, of course, Mickey Mouse and Minnie. You've got Daffy Duck. You've got um, actually Minnie Mouse doing some sewing with sewing implements, which is rather special as well. Imagine that on the front of a bag. You've got Disney princesses, Winnie the Pooh. You've got frames that you can put the Disney princesses in. And we're talking Princess Jasmine. You've got um, Tinkerbell and uh, Elsa. You've got Rapunzel. You've got Aurora. You've got, uh, they just go on and on, uh, Ariel as well. Then you've got Cars, you've got Toy Story, Finding Nemo, you've got a little bit of, uh, you've got Olaf, you've got Olaf. Now all of those Disney designs, you cannot buy Disney designs on USB and load them, you can't buy them. And I'm not just talking about brother, Disney don't license anymore their embroideries. That, that you can buy on their own. The only way you can get new Disney designs is if they are preloaded onto a machine. Those 62 designs can't be used on commercial products. Anything you're going to sell, whether it's charity or for profit, you can't use the Disney designs. However, there are then hundreds, thousands of embroidery designs that you can use with your brother machine. Some that you can buy, most are free and you get loads absolutely loads loaded onto your machine ready 125 in fact embroidery patterns already loaded onto your machine um, that you can use commercially so you've got alphabets you've got frames you've got beautiful motifs let me show you some of them um, things like floral swags um, these are fabulous so many different things you've got a whole manual full of them but also and i would really encourage you to do this if you're thinking about buying the brother embroidery machine hop online quickly and just have a look on google do a google search and this is what i want you to put in brother free embroidery designs and there are 
hundreds, nay, thousands. If you go on the Brother website, there are hundreds on there that you can put onto a USB stick. And then here's the magic. If you turn your Brother embroidery machine around and you will see right here is a USB port. So you put your USB stick in there. You can then use those designs on your embroidery machine. It's absolute simplicity itself. Uh, you've got a four inch or 10 centimetre hoop. Okay, so there's J for John, gorgeous. And of course, if you wanted to write John Scott or John or you know, congratulations or happy Christmas, um, you can do that. All you do is draw a line on your fabric and then maybe some registration lines as well for each letter, I would do that. And then hoop the individual area, stitch out that letter, move it on, again, center it and keep stitching out. Imagine things like Christmas bunting that says, Merry Christmas, congratulations on your retirement. You know, think about personalizing, monogramming, napkins, bags, um, bibs for babies absolutely lovely what about a little cuff that goes around a christmas hat that says baby's first christmas something like that there's so many lovely things little christmas stockings as well for pets now of course as soon as you start personalizing anything the value goes straight up in the air whether that's monetary value or sentimental value it's all achievable with your brother embroidery machine have a look at these free designs that you can get this is just an example this is on the brother website Look at all these lovely designs. Download them onto a USB, stitch them off. I love that lavender. Gorgeous, yeah? Really cool. I mean, the more you search, the more you find. And there are some fabulous tutorials out there as well by people who've been machine embroidering for decades, who know every trick in the book. So don't just do what you think the machine can do, take it further. Now, um, the machine itself, £599. I think that's incredible. I think that's absolutely incredible. It's got a three-year warranty on top of everything else. But £599 for an embroidery machine. I've always thought of embroidery machines as being the kind of thing that you're talking thousands rather than hundreds for. This makes embroidery machines much more realistic for many of us as something we could have. Now this is a embroidery only machine. So if you, if you have looked at, there is a darning foot, but it is only for machine embroidery. So you can't free motion quilt with this. There isn't a foot pedal. There isn't, well, there is a start stop button, but that is for the programmed embroidery. So you're not gonna use this for anything other than machine embroidery. But the good news is that you can, you know, pop your pop your hoop in um, and uh, stitch out. I mean, it's as simple as that, you know. Oh, actually, it's as simple as that. Um, <laughs> you know, that is how easy it is. Your your design is now in there, ready to stitch. Um, a very very easy operation as well. Um, in terms of threading your embroidery machine, this is something I thought, is it going to be complicated? Is it going to be wildly different? It is exactly the same threading path as a normal sewing machine. If you've got the Brother FS250 or any Brother, or frankly any sewing machine really, they all thread up pretty much the same. This embroidery machine is no different. Same with winding a bobble, bobbin, a bobble winding a bobbin you pop your bobbin on there you thread it up as normal fill your bobbin i mean you do actually get some pre-wound bobbins with this with what's called bobbin fill um which is a finer lighter weight thread and it seems to last forever um and you just use one color throughout for all your embroidery now another thing that you're going to get with your embroidery machine is you're going to get are we getting the free pack of stabilizers? Oh, okay, maybe that offer's gone. Okay. Well, then what I would recommend, if you have a look on the website, you'll find a pack, you should find a pack of 12 stabilizer samples. That would be a really good thing to add into your basket if you're going for the embroidery machine, just so that you've got those um, stabilizers. You put, you hoop them with the fabric and stitch through both. 
this is the kind of thing we're talking about it's 11 pound 99 and you get 12 different Madeira stabilizers okay but the real star is the fabulous brother sewing machine or embroidery machine I, su I should say uh, absolutely fantastic machine so usable very very simple to operate you've got your lcd screen here and it guides you through it it's so so simple if you want to enlarge there are buttons that say enlarge you know if you want to move it up down to the left to the right there are arrows you just press on the arrows on the screen to move the design and you see physically see the design move to the left and the right yeah every single stage it kind of tells you um, for example when you've done all of the stitching in say the black and you need to change the orange the machine will stop it will beep it will tell you it's time to change to color number two that's your orange if your thread breaks while you're sewing your machine will stop it will beep it detects the break if you run out of bobbin thread the same if there was a power cut or you're maybe sewing around at a friend's house and it's time to go home but you're halfway through stitching out Princess Jasmine it's not a problem you haven't got to miss your bus just turn the machine off pack it up and take it back home when you plug it in and switch the machine back on it will basically say to you I'm paraphrasing here do you want to start where we left off and you can click yes or no and if you click on yes it'll just start sewing again from where it left off that is genius isn't it love it I'm gonna pop that to one side now then another of our hero products you saw Kari using it earlier on and I love it too is the rotating cutting mat this is from the quilted bear this is in the blue and it's the 12 inch square there it is rotating cutting mat now I've managed I'll be honest with you I've managed very nicely for many many years without a rotating cutting mat however when I say very nicely I've also done an awful lot of turning of my board and a lot of walking around tables and a lot of picking up templates and moving things around um, I, I don't know why but I thought a rotating cutting mat would have a little lazy Susan piece in the middle and it would be a bit wobbly from side to side when you were cutting and I didn't think I liked the look of them until I saw these here's your rotating part you've got this fabulous non-slip surface here so when you're when it's, when the mechanism is locked this is locked at the moment your cutting mat doesn't move it's not going to slip and slide around and pushing it's not going to slip and slide around okay so we can use it as a regular cutting mat if i just unclip that this is our rotating part okay this is our main cutting board it's really nice yeah it's really nice and solid and firm that so put your non-stick on, non-slip rather, and we'll unlock. Now when you turn it over, don't be surprised if it, if it comes apart. It's not a problem. Just line those pieces back up again and then just lay it down flat. Now your cutting mat will fully rotate. Now obviously just be aware, if you are cutting from corner to corner, there is that little bit underneath which is unsupported so you do ideally want to use the cutting mat in one of four positions rather than on the diagonal but if it's just a small cut along a template there's no problem a message from Julia who's in Mid Lothian who says afternoon all I bought the brother at this 250 sewing machine yesterday and I'm so excited for it to arrive would have bought both if I could afford it Julia something to aim for isn't it yeah the embroidery machine is fab but you will have so much fun with your fs250 enjoy 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 i know you will thanks for your message julia so this rotating cutting mat you just want to keep turning it around so this is where we're doing things like straightening the edge of the fabric turning it around and then cutting our strips or we're cutting around a hexagon template 
So we're always cutting away from ourselves. It's the safest way to do it. So that's our 12 by 12. If you want to go bigger, now Deputy Joan, whose birthday is today, again, happy birthday, my love. Um, last time we had the rotating cutting mats, Joan treated herself. Joan's been quilting for decades. Um, so it's not something that, that, you know, we've all got, we've all heard about, even if we've been quilting for a long time, she's loving it. You just pop this around now on the reverse you'll see on the larger mat you've actually got four locks so you need to pull those four locks inwards and now we can rotate so let me flip this over so now we've got that really big 18 inch square cutting surface same principle just a larger version and I love that hot pink colouring too. Gorgeous. 32.99. When you want to lock it again, you just want to make sure that the locks and the recesses are lined up and then you can just push those out and then it's all locked together. Gorgeous, it's such a useful size, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. It's very sturdy, it's very sturdy. It's almost the, the cutting mat is it's bonded onto something thicker. It almost feels like, you know, like melamine, like a work surface. It's that kind of stuff it feels to me. It's not just a square, ordinary square cutting mat with an extra bit of base on it. It's thicker, very sturdy, love that. All right, now I mentioned lighting at the start. I f do you know what? I feel like Mr. Tumnus in a forest of lighting. <laughs> a little hairy fawn lost in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the three in one. I'm absolutely loving this. This is this one right here, isn't it? Now then, have we got the bit that we do to the table as well? It's just one more bit. So this is brand new. This is the three in one, thank you. The three in one task light. Now I mentioned earlier on, I, you know what? I didn't know what task lighting was all about. I didn't know what all the fuss was about with task lighting um, until I got just a little older. I wish I'd discovered this when I was younger, I'll be honest with you, because we all need good lighting. Nobody needs to be straining their eyes to craft. I'm just gonna turn that on. Check that out. Check that out. Amazing, true color absolutely true color imagine if you are sketching coloring in reading writing your journal you might be doing english paper piecing you might angle this turn it back on two different settings okay so on lowest setting brightest and off um, what about if you're sewing at your sewing machine? Now, when I'm in the kitchen, if I'm ever sewing in the kitchen, the lighting is more the kitchen end. The dining area is a bit softer, more subdued, and that's where I'm going to sit to sew. So there isn't really suitable lighting in there. Plus, in the evening, I prefer not main lights. I prefer a few lamps for nice atmosphere. That is not good enough for my sewing, even with my sewing machine lighting. So one of these, tucked behind, and lovely and bright, illuminating my sewing area. Now I can sew, I don't need any lights on if I don't want them. So this is the one, one uh, configuration, okay, which is the tabletop, really solid base on there. You've also got the floor lamp style. You've also got the clip to your tabletop, and I'll just show you that. You've got all three options, one light, a base for your table, a base for screwing to a table or a surface, and then the light just slots in here, the pole. And then you've also got your table, your floor um, version. So same base, but you add another pole in and then this goes on top to create a floor. Now I did this last week and I remember telling everybody, the price is gonna go up, the price is gonna go up, the price hasn't gone up. 
The price hasn't gone up, so let's take advantage now. This is brand new to us here at Sewing Street. We haven't had this before. No one had it before us. So this is terrific. I haven't even mentioned the fact that, look, you've got a big magnifying glass. So if for you, you're struggling, not just because of poor lighting, but you also need some magnification. So now we can start with our hands underneath, we can actually be sewing and we can use that extra magnification for cross stitch, for embroidery. Maybe this is for our knitting or crochet just to give us a better view of what we're doing. Maybe you've been thinking about doing something like lace knitting, but have thought the yarn's too fine. I'd never see it in the evening. Now, problem solved. Now, LED lighting. There was lots on the news, wasn't there, yesterday about King Charles having terrible problems with his ink pen. And one suggestion was that all of the camera lighting had warmed up the ink in the pen and it kind of exploded. And I heard a newsreader saying, well, actually, it's LCD lighting now, LED lighting rather on cameras. It doesn't produce any heat. Same technology in your native lighting. These lights are not producing heat. So if you've used task lighting way back when and you found your hands kind of feel like they're cooking and sweating underneath the lamp, this isn't gonna happen. This is cool. This is gonna stay cool, okay? Brilliant technology, absolutely innovative. And I think, you know, deep down what this does is it gives us our crafts back where age may have taken away some of our ability to see, define, to see the colours. Some of those cross stitch charts, those colours are pretty similar, aren't they? Or if you get the printed on canvas, 10 stitch tapestry, they can be hard to distinguish, especially in poor lighting. Good lighting, brilliant. All right, now, um, and also the other thing, of course, about LED lighting is it doesn't use much power. It doesn't use much, because it's not converting light into heat which is wasting it, you know, it's all about light. Okay, next up, this is one of my absolute favorite products. I love it, this might be my favorite. So let me just turn this on. Now there's only, uh, there's two settings, aren't there? So there's our low, There's our low, there's our bright. So we can use it as a lightsaber, of course. <laughs> Kidding. There we go. Perfect. And then obviously we've got our base. So we've got brilliant directional light. So this might be about working underneath that lighting. This might be about illuminating something over here that makes the whole job easier. But we've got that option. We've also, and that'll just turn it off, but we've also then got a torch. Doom, 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 Fab, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. So if you've got John Scott's Threads of Life, and you want to be still be reading it at 2 a.m. but you're concerned about disturbing someone else, possibly Mrs. Mills, it's not a problem. Just grab that next to you. <laughs> Do you remember when you were a child having a torch in bed and reading under the covers? I certainly did that. Sorry, Mum, 45.99 for this. Love the fact that right here we have our reading light. We might be in bed reading. Might need the loo. Now I've got my torch. I don't even have to put the main light on and I'm not tripping over things. Great, love that. Love that. And it's nice soft gentle light as well. It's not really sort of glaring in your face. <gasps> Brill, that's another new product which I've fallen in love with. I think it's Brill. The classic floor lamp, that's this one right here. Yeah. Now this is available in black or white. This is the white one. Now I'm just, there we go. Thank you. Oh, that is great. 
really cool so you do have a remote control for this if you want to so on there we can go bright we can increase no is this definitely the right one Oh, I, I'm not pointing it. Okay, so brightness. I'm not sure it is working, this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. That's our warm and that's our cool. We can alter the color so we can make it warmer or less warm. So we don't have to choose one or the other. We've also got, we can decrease the brightness. We can increase the brightness. We've also got, oh, hang on. Different levels. So we can have 20% brightness, 50%, or a hundred percent and we can do the same with our warm 20 percent 50 and a hundred percent talk about psychology that warm does do you know what i mean about creating a warm atmosphere a cozier atmosphere again i mentioned it earlier if you're one of those people that doesn't like the coldness of and wants to be cozy or have a cozier atmosphere you know or just a bit cheerier than than when it's a bit bleak outside i love that warm light absolutely gorgeous we can even mix the two now there's also uh this timer 60 second 10 minute 60s 10m mm. Press it and see what happens. Yes, I love it. This available in the. Oh, I'm controlling the other one now. <laughs> this is the white. We have also got the black. Let me just grab the black for a second so you can see. So I suppose really it comes down to what would fit best in your interior. So there's the black. But a quick message. This is from Pauline who says, hi Stuart, uh, in the three in one, is the three, sorry, is the three in one magnifying lamp okay to use just as a floor lamp or would the other swan neck floor lamp be a better option? That's a really, really good question. Here's the difference, I guess. If you want lighting, nothing else, then the native lighting Lumina floor lamp perfect you've got a really long swan neck you could be sitting down and have that over your lap you could be second person on the sofa and you could have that i would say that the benefit of the three in one even if you are, think you're only going to use it as a floor lamp is that you've got magnifying you've got that magnifying option which yeah maybe when you buy it all you want floor lamp extra task lighting but who knows when you're going to be doing something where you think do you know what i just can't see this to do it why why have to put it to one side if you've got the magnifying function brill and i also say you know you think and 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 I just mean from a personal point of view, I know too many times I've bought things thinking I'm gonna use it one way and then actually discovered that I use it in a different way when I get it home. So I offer that up, but magnifying and just light. Love, love those. That's on my wish list, I must admit. I have got one with magnifying. So extra floor lamp. I do rather like that and it is very very smart too love the fact that it is uh remote control now one of our huge favorites and michael our floor multi-skilled operator manager him in charge loved this when he found it, he was like oh this is great he was playing with it uh just need to turn it on you have to hold it down don't you <gasps> we all love this we all love this so cool light so this could be your bedside lamp this could be extra 
task lighting where you need it. We've also got that amazing warm light just by turning it. So if I just do that again, there's our warm and see how it comes up from the bottom, our cool light. If you pop it on its side, you get half and half. You get warm and cool and the light that's coming out of there is a combination of the two. You've also got a hanging handle. So for example, if you want to hook that onto something, if you want to have a hook. A tree? Could, a tree? That's yes, that's a very good point actually. You might be hanging this on a tree outside. You might be putting this, you know, maybe you're having a party and you just want to indicate this is the way. You could hang this up, 63.99 for that by the way. I think I'd be keeping this inside somewhere very special. And precious. It'd be really good for photography as well, just to create a nice warm ambience to keep the pictures. So. Nice idea, Michael there saying, uh, good for photography, so good for creating different mood lighting, so you've got that lovely warm ambient lighting there when you have it one way, but if you want cooler, more natural lighting, flip it over, very, very adaptable, isn't it? Superb. Now within all of this as well, you have got these different degrees of light and there are actually six different degrees of lighting so if I show you well our lowest lighting is off and then we've got low and then we're steadily getting a little bit warmer well a bit brighter brightest and we do of course also have that option with the warm so we can have full oops, full warmth and then we can take it down. There we go. A message about the torch. Oh, there is some light in that lowest one. It's not off. Or is it? I think it might be. Okay. Right. Good afternoon, Stuart. Can I ask if you can change, if you can charge the torch, or do you need to replace batteries? I missed if it was rechargeable. Carmel, I didn't say. Um, I'd be, thank you very much for reminding me to. Uh, you'll need to tell me. So it's a USB, isn't it? You plug it in. So you charge it. So if you have a look here at the side, so it's the same kind of port that you would use like for a phone. You plug it in, USB, plug it in, charge it up. Do we know what the charge time is? Fully charged. We'll have a look and tell you. But yeah, fully charged and then um, it's going to stay bright. That's really useful to have, isn't it? Maybe you go camping maybe you have a shed that you nip out to and there isn't that good lighting and you want to be able to go between the two especially with early mornings dark nights maybe one for going to and from the car if you park your car in a car park i must admit i'll be honest with you this morning i went out to my car and i'd had to park it in a kind of wooded car park it felt a bit, you know, sort of early morning and it didn't fit and I was having to go in the boot as well, which meant I was kind of going around the back and I would have liked some extra lighting just to make me feel safe and a bit more. So, yeah, yeah. Three hours charging time, by the way. Now, as a desk lamp, it's going to last between eight and 12 hours, depending on what setting you're using it on. Now, as a torch, up to six hours. Of course, if you're camping, you could charge this in the car. We've really moved on, haven't we? Just fab, I love that. And I love the fact that the torch becomes the base for the task light. Brilliant bit of design that, absolutely brilliant design, 45.99. Now, I do need to let you know a little bit of an early warning on the three in one that lots of you have come in for this it's that gooseneck you've got your floor lamp you've got your table lamp you've got your fix anywhere to a tabletop lamp all in one now i've got to tell you we've got less than 20 of these left 
I've no idea whether we're getting more in before Christmas. I do know that the price is going to go up for sure. We do know that for definite. We thought it was going up already, but we've kept the price 139.99. But um, I think we're still exclusive. I think we're still exclusive. But you've got that really sturdy base. Now, one little tip here, that base is designed to work, if you like, in the same angle as the lamp. So if you need to turn the lamp, say, this away to, oops, towards yourself, you really are better off turning the whole lamp. And it's just about that angle and the weight to keep everything stable. Absolutely brilliant. And I know as well with this newly designed lamp, they have made the gooseneck thicker, stronger, more stable. Gee, I love this one. I think it's absolutely superb. I know that most of the time I'm going to use it in one particular configuration. And we had um, a customer messaging earlier on asking about, could I just use this as a floor lamp? What would be the benefits? Um, and, I, and I think actually it's a really good point that we probably all will use these three in ones in one particular way more than the others. But isn't it great to have the option? You just don't know. You might be going to stay with relatives over Christmas and there might not be space for you to have a floor lamp or a tabletop lamp. So that way, if you take all the kit with you, you've got the tabletop uh, screw. You know, you could fix it wherever you are. Yeah, it's good to have options. And I love the fact that you've got LED lighting, doesn't produce heat, Oops, doesn't produce heat or very little heat. It's cheaper to run than the non LED lighting. Uh, super bright. Isn't that amazing? But it's what it gives us. It's what it gives us, which is, you know, if you've if you're struggling to see what you're doing when you're knitting, sewing, crocheting, embroidering, if you're straining your eyes or if I mean, goodness me, you're having to cut short your hobby because your eyes are getting tired or you get headaches. Um, try task lighting and see if it makes a difference. Because I know from my experience that using the magnifying and the task lighting together has made my cross stitch embroidery handwork so much better not just more comfortable and less tiring, but also more accurate, fewer split stitches, less frustration than without. So, you know, that's my two penneth on that. <laughs> Bro, let's do some craft bags. I love these. Do you want them here or? Let's go over. Yeah, little change of scene going to pop these mats away. So we have got these ready-made craft bags. I know we like making bags. I love making bags. No one loves making bags more than me. Nobody, nobody. But, but these I just love. Can I, I was going to say, can we start with the green? So what you've got here, you've got this really fantastic heavy duty canvas outer. Um, and the bag, let me just, I'm trying to just pull this apart. The bag is lined, but it's self, it's self lined if that makes sense. So it's the same fabric outer and inner, but it is lined. You've got this really thick, sturdy, it's a rope, thick, sturdy rope around the outside, which reinforces the top, but it also means that it holds open. So it's what I would call a bucket bag, a bucket bag, because you've got a circular base, all bound in this lovely tan. I think it's ever so smart. You've got concertina or expanding pockets. Now I've got reasonably large hands and my hands will fit right into all of the pockets. So that bodes well. So you've got pockets all around the outside. You've got a similar configuration inside. So similar um, concertina pockets 
all inside. I tell you what I need, just one minute. There we go, can you see? Yeah, so you've got concertina pockets inside. All right, um, plus of course, a massive amount of space in there for storage. And then you've got sturdy webbing handles and I love these. I always think it's a nice sort of classy touch having this little sort of connector. It's a little comfort grip that Velcros together and now much more comfortable. Now, where am I going to use this bag? Well, you've probably already been saying at the TV screen, oh, that would make a fantastic gardening bag for taking around the garden. Now's the time of year to be planting things like bulbs um, and things like autumn bedding as well, things like wallflowers, love those. So this might be your bulbs, your dibber, your trowel, your fork, all that kind of thing. Um, really sturdy, gonna get you around the garden. Maybe in the spring and summer, it's gonna be seed packets, pruning shears, etc., etc. So great for gardening. What about dog grooming? What about dog toys and accoutrement, the lead? Shouldn't really say when you're going for walkies, but did anybody hear? <laughs> did anybody hear me? Um, but it, this could also be things like your horse grooming uh, or, you know, treats and snacks. This could be your bag for knitting, sewing, crochet equally well. I love the fact that it is a very, very much unisex and it's going to work great for all ages, uh, men, women. Uh, we've also got it in blue. Hard to decide. Very hard to decide. I love this faux leather handle and trim. It's very, very smart, isn't it? Again, same principle, it's a bucket bag. Now this could be something that you turn into a gift for somebody. Either give it to them as the bag, but also, if you're feeling a little generous, you could actually pack this up with, and it might be things like a pamper bucket. So there might be things like body lotions, a loofah, um, or sponges. It could be beauty products might be a little bottle of Prosecco and two glasses in there as well. Have it as a little, you know, a treat bucket, maybe something you take out to the hot tub, make sure they're plastic glasses. Um, but you know, something like that. It could also be um, a, you know, learn to cook hamper for somebody who's going off to university or college, you know, and you want to put some cooking implements, cookbook, a few other bits and pieces, and then a really practical bag at the end of it. Love that. Now then, um, we were looking at needles earlier on, but this time we've got sewing machine needle bundle. Look at that. My extendable arms. Fabulous. Right, so, oh, I bang on about this all the time, but you must change your needle. <laughs> I'm telling myself, I'm reminding myself, we must change our needle, and we must use the right needle for the right job. Who knew, who knew that there were this many different needles, and there are more besides, but these are all the really useful ones for 2142. Now, what I need to tell you, oh, hang on. You tinker, 1999. Thank you, we love it. Right, so what I was gonna say was, what we must remember is that in each of these packs, you're getting six needles, 48 needles, 48 needles in there. So you've got your universal machine needles, six of those from a 70 up to a 90. So you've got two 70s, two 80s, two 90s. Brilliant, love that, need those, okay. Your sharps, you're going to use these things. You could use these for machine quilting, machine applique, top stitching as well. Sharps are good, you know, especially if when you're sewing, you're getting rather um, wiggly. Not so much wiggly, but the stitches sometimes are catching on the slub of the weave and you don't get a nice even row of stitching. Try using sharps instead but particularly machine quilting and machine applique especially at the 60s or the 70s 
very good, especially for mach invisible machine applique. Now then we've got specific quilting needles here. These are all 80s. These are gonna be perfect for, well, the vast majority of machine quilting. Um, again, you've got six of these. When you're machine quilting, you need to be aware that your needles will blunt faster than if you're piecing. So where you might change your piecing needles, machine piecing needles every eight hours, you will want to change your quilting needles perhaps every six or seven hours. They will blunt a bit faster because they're going through lots more layers. They're doing a harder job. Okay. Um, these are jeans needles. So jeans needles are designed to go through thick, heavy jeans fabric, which means they have a sharper tip. Jeans needles are also very suitable for machine quilting. Okay, always experiment. I mean, these are 90s and 100s, so they are a little bit on the thick side. Um, and I would start with the quilting, but if you're having problems with needles breaking, try going up to a 90. Um, the other thing that you can use your jeans needles very successfully for is bag making. So they're thicker, stronger. So if you're doing bag making with anything, PU, oil cloth, you know, denim, thicker upholstery fabrics, jeans needles are great. Okay, leather needles. Leather needles have a sort of cutting tip to them. The tip has a sort of cutting edge to it, which means it will go through real leather and of course it will go through PU. Now you don't need to use a leather needle for PU, but it doesn't hurt. But again, they are 90s and 100s. So just be aware that they're thicker needles. So they are designed to go through thicker layers bag making good right embroidery machine needles i would use these now don't just think about embroidery the designs think about embroidery thread so those special threads we might use for machine embroidery hand guided machine embroidery things like rayon metallic thread um, holographic threads as well those sort of special the weird and the wonderful those kind of sparkly things if you've had problems with thread shredding as you're sewing and normally it's like 10 or 12 inches of thread and then it snaps again and it, you re-thread and it snaps again it's because the thread is too delicate to use a normal needle with as it's going through the fabric the thread is rubbing against the, the thread. Every time it goes through the fabric, it will rub. And speciality threads very quickly shred and break. Your embroidery needle has what's called a scarf running down the back, which is this hollowed out section that your thread sits in. It's like being in a little protective bubble and it won't rub against the fabric. It won't shred anymore. Christmas is the time for using metallic thread. There we go. Uh, ballpoint needles from 70s, 80s and 90s, two of each. Ballpoint, you're going to use where you want the needle to go in between two threads rather than piercing through the thread. So where you're using a woven cotton, it's fine that the needle pierces through the thread. But with knit fabrics, t-shirty fabric, stretch fabric, you want the needle to actually pass in between and the, the ball point has a little rounded point. They're not actually kind of sharp, sharp. They've got a little ball end, uh, ideal for that. And then last of all, top stitch needles. So again, a nice sharp piercing tip so that even if you're using heavier weight fabrics and you may have found that you're getting a little bit of a wobbly line when you stitch, try using a top stitch needle instead. Really fantastic bundle that. And um, if you've never tried using different threads for different jobs, this might be a real good, like this is like a sample pack. I mean, a really good sample pack of all sorts of different needles. Something for everyone. Now then, just before Festival of Quilts, I was joined on air by my wonderful friend, Rose Parr, who is from Canada, from a place called Guelph in Canada. And, um, Rose is an expert on the ergonomics of quilting, sewing, dressmaking, 
and also just you know healthy lifestyle looking after joints muscles tendons and so on healthy body means that we can sew for longer more comfortably so happy and healthy is the book that she wrote <laughs> there's me that is genuinely me there on the front doing a little side stretch just to prove it hello there you go same model i think you'll find um but the book is a fantastic resource book how to set up your sewing machine your ironing board i mean these are things you might never have considered but things like this if when you're ironing the angle of your arm from your elbow goes upwards slants upwards and then your uh, this and this are going to get strained dropping the ironing board down a little bit so that you've got a nice right angle here at the elbow for ironing more comfortable for longer and it's things like that throughout the book that make it so cool brilliant price too it was 12.99 we're going to do it today for 10.99 that is a secret santa isn't it for one of your quilty friends so healthy and happy now also hello hello um, but also what you've got in here throughout are tips for makers okay so things like let me find some um, little things that you can do um, little tips on applique on sewing from experts Here's a good one. Press to the dark side to hide your seams. Jenny Doan. Oh yeah. Just see if there's another one. Here we go. Uh, there's a little bit about Aki quilt there as well, or die cutting systems, ruler grips. Now we had that as one of our early birds today. Um, sold out pretty quickly. Using, you know these table raisers that you can buy or chair raisers you can buy they're often used for people with mobility issues but they can also be used to raise a table or raise your sewing table a chair so that you're in a more comfortable position i think it's brill really good book really good book now should just mention that the three in one light with less than 10 we had 16, 17 of them, but we've less than 10 now. So if you want to grab that, we started with over 20 actually, but um, yeah, they are great. Super, really impressed with native lighting. John has them too. I know he loves his native lighting. Charlie is house sitting at the moment. Our director is house sitting for John. He's living the John Scott lifestyle at the moment. And um, I think it's fair to say that quite a lot of the fabulousness of John Scott has rubbed off on Charlie, um, but he's loving it. Uh, John loves native lighting. Uh, I know he would be the first to tell you that himself. Um, so looking forward to seeing John. Did you see that lovely new profile picture that he posted on Facebook? I think that's the nicest picture I've ever seen of John. He just looks so happy and chilled and fantastic. We love John. He's coming back soon, isn't he? When's he back? Next week. Hurrah. 22nd the 22nd can't wait to see him all right let's do the menus and see what's coming up tomorrow friday it's friday 8 a.m liberty i love a bit of liberty at 9 a.m mode fresh as a daisy quilt with susie duncan at 10 it's the mccoy oxford trousers with mark francis at 11 o'clock, Creative Grids Masterclass with Susie Duncan. I will be bringing my notepad and pen. Susie is a fabulous, fabulous quilter and teacher. She will have all the tips and tricks. And then at 12 o'clock, so over it, Aid Address with Mark Francis. So really, really heavy on the demos tomorrow. It's going to be a great learning day. Now, we've also got Hobby Makers Menu. We don't have Hobby Makers Menu. No, we don't. But I do know that Auntie Pauline is coming up this afternoon so do stay tuned one last thing that i do want to say we all want to say from sewing street is deputy joe 
Joan, that is your birthday today. We love you. Happy, happy birthday. There we are. <laughs> that was on Tuesday in Scarborough. We had such a fun day. All right, I've had a fun day with you too. I hope you have with me. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Until then, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>